birthday, we got through Lib 5. We got through a uh, uh, an extract barely by the skin of our teeth, losing in the Kimbo in the process. The Akimbo is certainly one of the weaker classes. Uh, after some discussion with Karuka, there has been a new ammo type added in. And I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm going back and forth on my thoughts of this new ammo. It's a plus one damage, minus two armor piercing ammo that you can get from the beginning of the game from engineering. And I think the cost is five supplies. The, the idea behind it is it's something that could certainly add some benefit to the early game akimbo. Falls off very quickly. Um, but but I, I also just don't know if I, I, I'm okay with having an additional ammo, even though the minus two armor makes sense in the mod jam perspective of things with how some of the weapons work. Uh, and there's a lot of armor on a lot of enemies. My biggest concern comes more so of like having an SMG now being able to kill some of these these units without critting, right? With just a five roll because of the, instead of the two to four on the SMG, it's a it's a three to five. But at the same time, I don't really know if this is that big of a deal. Um, let's make sure that we can build it. Because uh, they might not be able to. So let's see. We have the tracer around, which gives you aim. Needle rounds we've already unlocked. Hmm. It actually doesn't look like I have access to it. I don't know what it's called either. Alright, I'll have to ask Karuka. It's her birthday today, so she might not be around very much, which, you know, is completely acceptable. Uh, <laughs> I hope she has a grand old time doing whatever she is doing on her birthday. Yeah, I, I don't know if the tech unlocked for myself, to be fair. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. I just kind of wanted to see um, what it was. It's not the micro rounds, it's not the talon rounds. Only takes a finger to blow her away. Let's see. And Abby Tom. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you so much for three months of continued support. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday and just a fantastic week in general. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Starting today off freaking with a, even more of a smile. I think we all need that. So thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, came back from vacation. That's awesome. How was vacation? All right, I don't see the ammo. Um, I'm just going to make a note of it. I don't want to actually bug Karuka right now. About that so let me let me get to my mod jam page mod jam notes okay uh no new ammo plus one damage minus two armor here's showing up okay that's awesome the vacation is is super nice and i hope you had it a very relaxing and enjoyable time certainly all right, so we don't have the new ammo there. There has been some changes to AI as well. Um, no longer should the necromancers or the, the sorcerers get two AP on their scamper. There was an issue there uh, with their AI. Um, and then there's been a change, I believe, to the uh, necromancer, the frost necromancer. Their summoning of their unit is still going to cost a free AP, but it's no longer going to work at full health. And so what this is going to change is they're on their engagement, summoning, and then getting two actions, like with the mind spin or something else as well. Instead, if you damage them and leave them alive, they're going to summon their zombie, because that zombie's persistent. And uh, and after some discussion, that seemed like a very fair way to, to create some more threat from them, while not feeling like your AP economy starved, necessarily just because of an engagement where there's suddenly more enemies on the map, especially because they get accompanied by things like heavy armor and stuff. So you can leave them alone. They're probably going to chill you if you do. Uh, if you damage them, they become more of a threat. And then if uh, you kill them, it removes the threat. I think it's it's a I think it's a fair spot for them. But we'll get to see how that plays out today. Yesterday we did finish up Liberation Five, uh, and we have we have some tired people, but we have a decently healthy roster. Our focus today is to use more of our bonds. You heard it here. We're going to be redoing some of our squads uh, to get some of our people bonded properly. And we're also going to start making some progress. We have Psy Lab potentially coming out. Uh, well, at least the ability to build in two days, which we're probably going to do with our supplies. We have resistance comms in five days. We're getting a Reaper out. 
Um, I need rookies. Right now, though, we have a lockdown. And so it's 40 supplies. What's a bond? It's this obscure mechanic that no one should really use, but I should probably start trying. We're on full recruit here. The goal is to unlock new Arctic so we can have full information on where invasion might be coming from. Um, we have alien allies to pick up. Strength 3 region here, strength 4, and strength 6. So yeah, getting a new region contacted is the goal right now. Also, I'd like a jailbreak in this strength 3 region, or any of our regions, as we certainly have taken some, uh, some hits from the Chosen here and there. Oh, one of the things that's going to suck, though, right, is contact is 75 intel here when I probably... I mean, I want to get a tower here. Maybe it's better just to get up to 150 intel and make contact with, with some other region. But then I lose the information, and then I have to worry about invasion. Uh, our notes say July 19th is when we have to start worrying about invasion. Baron units. Someone has recovered from their wounds. Fantastic. We also are giving officer training out. Only a strength four, and we did do the full retail there at one point already. Took a little bit of time. Uh, let's see. Trust back. What rank are you actually at? I need to get you to major. Okay, so I need someone who's higher rank to become an officer. Honestly, it's Pilot Jones. Pilot Jones is going to become an officer. And I think it's time to send him in here doing that. So our Templar won't have his bondmate for some time. Uh, oh, wait. Do I want to do the Grenadier here, actually? Jogoth? No, this one's going to be Pilot Jones. Pilot Jones is not really going aggressive, not doing the Overwatch or anything. Okay. We're going to be taking uh, Oscar Mike here. Getting him going. Give me one second as well. I'm going to kick my AC on. It's very hot this morning. Okay. We got the officer training coming out. We are going to be setting up some more of our squads. Dr. Briggs, good morning. How are you? Good to see you. I want this haven filled. I think you will find our results before we start putting it on supplies. The sex toy's rapid physical evolution over the although I would I find it unusual to say the Okay, so we got rocket phosphorus, toxic so gas, gas canister, battlefield medicine, venom rounds. Has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this holy reptilian. Oh, that's right. I have to go into psionics, which I do think we should do. I know Illyrium is important, but I think trying to get some of the psi out and trying and playing with some of the stuff is a good spot. We have, we are in June, so we still have July and August. Yeah, I, I think I can afford to do a few of these minor upgrades at this point. We'll get Illyrium out, certainly, at some point. But but we're a little bit ahead of the curve right now, I think. The science is eager to begin, Commander. Chilling in bed, nice. Glad I can be some good morning entertainment and vibes. Okay, Mech Trooper. Mech Trooper, Mech Trooper, Mech Trooper. I mean, I honestly want to kind of get these Venom rounds out, though they're not going to be as impactful as maybe the Talon rounds would be at this point. I don't have access to Shredder rounds yet. Let's come back to that in a second. So, Mech Troopers. Kruka wanted me to get a Mech Trooper out of the Templar. By the way, thinks I would have a lot of fun with it. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. Oh, you're at night? Well, good evening then. Glad I can do some evening entertainment. Oh, time zones. What a strange concept. Man, I, I don't know. It's hard to, like, say because I don't know them, right? Assault or Templar from Mech Trooper? McMano, absolutely. Good morning. 
That's what Karuka was saying. She was saying Templar. I I tend to bond soldiers that are going to be on the same mission. Our squads have not been running a lot of the same missions together. So it doesn't make sense just to bond them unless I know what they're going to be doing. That is going to be a focus today is to redo our, our squads, which is why I've kind of cleared them out, right? To get some bonds going and get some more value out of that. But it's been a, uh, it's been a interesting campaign so far. So that's 40 supplies on top of the 30 we've already invested. Delay psionics. All right, you know what? Let's do this. See, it's another 60 supplies. So let's see, it's a 30, 40, and 60. It's 130 supply investment. For one Illyrium core to get this started. Okay, we're gonna have some fun. If we need to revert, we're gonna revert to the session start later today. Punch any target movement range, gain momentum action point after the attack begins surgery one day. All right. We are gonna try it out. I mean, we, we are on testing, man, right? Avenger plotting new we're trying things out, making sure we're providing accurate and good feedback to create some balance around this. Market is open. I really want to get some of the new classes out, but we haven't had an opportunity to see them yet. Um, I'm not selling Illyrium courses anymore. We're going to need them. I'm getting rid of the laser pistols. I have mag pistols now because we have a dead akimbo. I'm going to sell like three of the data pads. Yeah, uh, well, I'm trying to, like, I still haven't seen the Warden class, and I still haven't seen the Stormrider class, right? And a part of this issue is, is our roster is so thin, and they, they have to, like, level it up after you have one of every single class, right? Um, and so we're hoping to find one or buy one, because I have not played around with it at all. Uh, this may be something to consider in the future on how they can get upgraded or promoted. Maybe be considered, uh, like, something with it. I don't know with that yet. But yeah, there's two classes we still have not seen. Wow, we really do not have a whole lot to sell right now. But that puts me enough to start getting psionics out if we want to see if we have any scions and play around with that idea. This region's going to get real hot real fast. Setting course for sector nine, I guess we're just waiting on resistance States. comms right now. And, I mean, I know this is going to be a little bit of a hot region. But I still think I have to make contact here. Uh, and the reason is, is I need to make sure we have this information for invasion, right? Only takes a finger to blow her away. Hello, Commander at Archaeological. Good. Hello, Commander, to you too. How are you, my dude? Thank you so much for the four months of support. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great morning. Uh, we could just go fully there, I think. Get those out for now. Consider the countless lives that could have been spared had you remained in your place among the Elder's champions. We're hiding Our here. in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the Chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. All right, we got a Reaper. Time to take a look at the new Reaper changes, as I have not seen anything about this yet. 
We have survived. We don't recruit rebels in West Asia. That might be what they never live in their cities. We are the hunters. We move in the shadows. And we won't sleep until the last alien. Okay. So they still have shadow, they still have tracking. My Reapers are up for taxi will two damage, reduce target's dodge by 40 if the target has been wounded this turn. Range attack skin, two armor piercing and 15 aim. We have the knife juggler, crippling strike, total combat paramedic. Did this actually get changed? It looks like it did. Durava might be able to tell me though. Uh, I don't know if this did. They do look changed. Death from above, run the mark, homing mine, pack master, and personal edge. Reduce shadow cooldown by one and gain a second 28 buff for three turns when you get killed with a throwing knife. Light them up. Light them up. Okay, so maybe it is. I, I don't know enough about the Reaper to have commented otherwise. Remote start is fantastic. Shredder could be good. I mean, with chain shot here as an ability, and the higher rifles definitely can put out some damage. I'm curious if I want to go like shooting sharp, blood trail, silent killer. Ghost grenade, banish. Light him up? Do I want to do that? I mean, I don't know if I want Banish, honestly. I mean, Banish is good, but... Hmm. I don't think Squad Sight's that strong, by the way. Um, at least on the Reaper. It might just be Knife Juggler, though, right? What, squad sight? It's because XCOM 1, right? Like, it was a lot of uh, Overwatch crawling. With with the current Reaper right now, right? Tracking and shadow, you're, you're getting up in a flank. You're finding out information. You're controlling how you're moving and how you're taking engagements, right? Yeah, I mean, sharpshooters still have it, right? But we're not going to be probably sitting back where this is something that's going to be super viable. We do have 75 aim, though. This isn't too bad. Serial, by the way, this is not a great ability. Uh, the fact that Serial still shows up at like the Master Sergeant rank on some classes, I don't understand. I feel like this is requires way too much setup to be powerful, right? Because you're looking for kills, right? And and when things have like 30 plus HP later on, like you're not looking to do that much damage with this necessarily to, to pull this off. Something like Silent Killer might be better. I mean, maybe we do pick up Serial to see if we can make this work but I just have not. I found this ability completely underwhelming towards the late game. All right, let's let's uh, let's play around with a, a rifle build. We're going to do the blood trail, shooting sharp. We're going to go into, uh, into serial and try it into ghost grenade. Probably into death dealer, right? So you can still do some of that a little bit, Dr. Briggs, like with the shinobis and things of that nature, right? But at, at that point, it's like, do I really want my, is is my Reaper providing me more value than a sharpshooter? And my answer is gonna be no. The value on the uh, on the Reaper right now, in my experience, is comes from tracking, right? Uh, comes from shadow, being able to get up in a position to get on a flank, to find out information, right? Even doing the rifle build, um, which is my, why we might also take Silent Killer, even if we do it over Serial. Uh, it, it's about just like peppering them, getting in a position and, and causing like, you know, early damage and early control. Uh, I definitely play a style where I want a lot of control, even though I trigger everything at once. Uh, it's easier to play chess, right? When you know where all the pieces are. And so that's where I think the strength is. Crippling Strike though is so strong 
right? Especially on something that we we may want to take an engagement this way. You crippling strike the, the pod leader or someone, uh, they stay out in the open while everyone else scampers and you get some easy kills and easy flank shots. Which has me already like thinking, Let's do a knife build. Knife builds are so good. Stackable aim buff. Throwing knives applies a 50 crit chance against the target from all sources for the remainder of the turn. Mend the marked. Man. That's so good. So good. All right. Oh. Homing mine is four charges. Requires one action. Does not end turn. Nominal Aeon, how are you? Okay, I'm going to go a, a rifle build. And my main thought on this is going to be Shredder Chain Shot. Right? The ability to like do Banish, Shredder, or Chain Shot on something very big like a sectopod or a gatekeeper and destroy all that armor before the rest of the engagement. I, uh, there, there's something beautiful about it. This also makes it very good against uh, certain chosen, right? Um, let's do the warlock here with chain shot. Still gonna take silent killer over serial though, but I'm gonna take blood trail. I'm gonna take shooting sharp. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna play around with it. Four days on augmenting. I thought that said one day, by the way, but hey. Um, well, let's get an enhanced weapon crate out. Let's see what's in this. Have the supplies for psionics. Bombs in 26 hours. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to you know what? Down, we'll you're not on hiding. Fast. You're on. You're on intel. There's an extract with 10 to 12 with a good timer. We should be able to get this down to 7 to 9. All right. So we need to take a look at our squads and some of their compatibility and what we're looking to do with them. I think to begin with, I am going to be putting our infantry here, the one in New India. Let's go grab him. And we'll see what works well here. So you are looking to bond with a technical or a gunner. Um... I mean, I need to not to stop letting it be like, you know, the most ideal people. Kobeers is wounded though. Our gunner is ready to go. Let's do it. So we have an infantry gunner. Good morning, a weird guy. Good to see you, man. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to your equipment in just a moment. Next up, what do I want with this squad? I would like something that can hack. The Dragoon can hack and is an officer. The Dragoon's looking to bond with the Shinobi, which is, gives us stealth, a scrapper, and a ranger. I could bond you with Emily, and we could put Emily on this squad, and I feel fairly confident about that. So the AP economy certainly is going to go probably towards more with Emily. Get her out of a bad situation as necessary. Let's do it. Let's get these bonds rolling. All right. Now. We are looking for... We have the infantry, the gunner, the dragoon, and the shinobi. So we have infantry for some damage. The gunner can certainly do damage. And we have... A laser cannon for him. I don't need to upgrade that yet. the arsonist. I only have one assault. And he's wounded still. Scrapper might, but I also have to, to realize that I'm going to have 
multiple squads are gonna need some things, right? Like, do I have another form of stealth? I have another shinobi here. Who wants to bond with Valora, a specialist? I think she's also a support specialist. Revival, Field Surgeon, Medical Protocol, Airdrop. Yeah, so I'm cool with that. So we're going to put Kenji, CS, and Valora together. That gives me a hacker here. Scrapper wants to bond with Emery's, our ranger. You know what? I'm really cool with that. We could put both a weird guy and Emery's on this squad. Okay, so that gives me four there, so I can fill in here a little bit more. I'm going to be running four squads, aren't I? The Silent Bop, our agent. Not in a squad. I'm cool with that. Skirmish or agent might be a good combo. Probably with the hoplite. But I'm gonna need the recon here. Okay, well those are like all the bonds right now. We'll, we'll fill in the rest later as they come. Look, I cleared up some of the bonds, guys. I hope you're all happy now. All right, uh, we could bring the hunter. The hunter could do some damage, especially has another melee attack. Up close and personal. Infantry's good damage. Gunner's good damage. Dragoon's good support. Nobody's pretty good damage. Um, So what did I say we're missing here? I also bring the, oh yeah, I was gonna bring the arsonist. I do think the greedy bastards probably are keeping the arsonist. You have the grenadier survivalist, arsonist, yeah, okay. The greedy bastards, let's give the other arsonist too. Not bonded with anyone, that's fine. And I can do one more. We do have high compatibility with a logical. low mobility hoplite um actually don't know about the insulated weave there i'll come back to that in a second not really gonna invest anything more than this i do have a speed loader we want to double move to reload ever Could give you a laptop actually instead of the AP grenade that might be better shooting shots not bad I might want to upgrade your weapon though you can use assault rifles cannons SMGs come back to that thought in a second uh, I can't upgrade the swords can I can get kinetic shielding alloy shield i need to build one of these guaranteed probably two of them What's the sword called? 
Am I, am I being dumb? We should have it, right? We have the shard gun. We have lit. We have lancer corpses. Oh goodness! Did something change here? Wasn't there an upgrade? There's an upgraded sword. Feel like I'm missing something here, right? Hold on, let me message Faruka. Um, upgraded sword, Locked with mag. Arc blade. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm blind. I don't see the arc blade here. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a second. All right, the immolator. I have 247 supplies. Yeah, it might be gated somewhere else. I, I met this group, but we'll find out. Honestly, I think we do just invest in an Ashbringer. Oh, that's not this. What is the Ashbringer then? <laughs> there needs to be like more details. I thought this was uh a weapon here. Let me guess. Let me guess. This is for the spark, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah, this is the spark flamethrower. Well, that was a waste of supplies. Yes, that would be something that would be nice, right? To add in, like, like. Some details here that say, like, this is mech flamethrower or something. We'll, we'll make it work. It's okay. Uh, something I can do here, though, is I can absolutely just give you a mag pistol with a laser sight. And then we'll get a ballistic shield. Or it's alloy shield, I think. Oh yeah, looking fine, fly. Well, I thought I was building that, right? When I bought the Ashbringer. But instead, uh, yeah, this is for the mech and this is what I would need, but I don't want to spend the supplies anymore, right? I, I didn't realize they were like, I thought they might just be different names for things. I think I do think like localization needs some help here. I'll make some notes. Um, let's do this. Let's say localization, localization updates. Uh, so we're going to talk about the S1221 Ashbringer needs to mention for mech. Is there a way to delete items? 
Here, here, let's do this. Uh, I don't know what this is called. I'm saying I could, this is the same cost, right? We could just like delete this item or not use it and give ourselves the advanced emulator, which is what we are looking to build. Um, No, that doesn't work. I mean, we have, we might, but then I have to redo all this stuff. I think it'd be easier just to find the commands. Let's give ourselves 40 supplies. Give sources. Thank you, Rusty. Give resources. Give resource supply. I don't think oh that is it okay yeah that worked wonderful good morning rusty all right that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna give ourselves some supplies we'll try and delete this or not use it i know i lost a little bit of alloys and lyrium but it's not that big of a deal sell it on the market Okay, we could do that. That's only going to give me some supplies back. And I gave myself 40 supplies. Is there a way to remove supplies then? Sources. Okay. Let's do alien alloy. Two. And then... Oh, if I could spell things correctly, that would work, right? Alien alloy, two, and then give resources alien Illyrium, two. I don't know if that's actually the Illyrium there. I'm not worried about it. Let's, like, let's not worry too much. Let's not do too much shit. I, I think that's a fair trade. We'll, we'll do that, and that's, we'll call it good. I do have Predator armor as well. Now, I don't know about the alloy sword not having an upgrade, which is a little bit of a shame here. Definitely don't want to do this Sun Lancer armor. Illyrium dust, Illyrium core. Dude, Rusty, I'm popping that right now. Thank you so much for that. We're gonna throw this in my notes here. Supplies, and this is going to be a give resources. One of those, and then minus should minus as well. Okay, so we'll go sell to the black market and we'll we'll minus the supplies we get from that. Um I think this is fine. We'll get 10 to 12. We might get the uh the 7 to 9. Strength could also go up. This is an extract from the wilderness. I kind of do wish we had like a sharp sugar here. Arsonist offers a lot of damage and control. They spread out quite a bit. The hoplite can take hits. The goon provides extra ablative to everyone. Wish we had an upgrade on the sword, but it is what it is. We don't really care about the combat knife. I 
I have ways to shred. I have AP rounds. I have AP grenades. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Rusty is a, a full of knowledge, big help. I really do appreciate it. Fact. I do this as well. So you also get, you know, the ad free viewing all the time. So I do not run ads. A blower away. So subbing is the best way to make sure you have that. I really do appreciate all the hard work you put in. All right, rank four will stay on Intel here. I need a Haven advisor. Okay, so one of the things that's Commander, popping up right now make use of the ring is lots of recruits. Idle soldiers on just a great. Action with the resistance. But uh, they're expensive. 40 supplies each because we're in a lockdown right now. And absolutely, man, I really do appreciate all the, the hard work you put in the mods and everything. It's a pleasure having you here Resistance and helping out. Facility now operational. All right. Uh, that does give me plus two contacts. I don't need that right now, so we don't put you there for the moment. And get these weapon crates out maybe a little bit quicker. Please just remind me when we do go to the black market to sell that weapon and to uh, minus the supplies, guys. It sucks that we're going to spend this on a uh, a region here, right? But I I, I kind of need that information, I think. Ava, I know you might be working. If you have any input, what's your thought? Priority message coming through, Commander. Oh, and look, checkpoint. On screen now. Cool under pressure on the Warlock. All right. Progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your arm to further... Check or mod jam checkpoint six. The elders have blessed me. No, empowered me. I am stronger than ever, and I will not fail them. I mean, if we stay up to Soon, 150, I will come to know all the areas of your resistance and its pitiful schemes. The chosen haven't given up on finding us, Commander. One of them is closer than ever. A new chance to disrupt the Elder's plans has presented itself, and my follow- Alright, I have until July 19th. If we can get two missions with Intel, we'll make contact with Eastern day. Europe. We the might need to crack a bunch of data pads. The is to strike first, and we'll need to work on a covert action with the Resistance in order to do that. We should head to the ring. You're playing covert infiltration thing vanilla covert ops being looks refreshingly new. I've been watching uh Durava's covert infiltration playthrough and other than the uh the seeing an objective revealing your recently put into stealth reaper, uh <laughs> it looks fun. I, I certainly plan on giving it a go at some point, probably like later this year, November, December. But yeah, I, I definitely this is definitely a little outdated, I think. We have to recruit the scientist. Okay. So we send the grenadier. The skirmisher. the juggernaut do not bring the frost bomb with you instead bring a flashbang as a precaution there 
You're fine there. I want to upgrade your ripjack, but we'll do that later. And yeah, you're fine there. Shredder grenades, pulse laser. I'm okay with that. Failure eight percent. Get a scientist. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate. Seven days. The yeah, that's soldiers. fine. Okay. Yeah. If, oh man. Strength went down to five here. So where did that strength go? Don't know. Like I need this information, or we're gonna risk invasion. Strength five here now. I've already dealt with pull retaliation, but I kind of want this to calm down a little bit. Enhanced Advent Shotgun. So this is the breaching round. Fire an enemy using four ammo. Should you miss, you destroy the target cover. Instead, the shots of minus 20 aim penalty and grazes will become misses instead. Can use once per turn. Single reload, full reload. Deep cover. If you do not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Four to seven with a crit damage of two, where the shark gun six to eleven. Um crit damage of four. Yeah, I don't know if breaching rounds enough to value that over the shark gun. It's good to have if we want to give it to someone. But yeah. Do we want to go for another enhanced crate, potentially? You get chameleon suit out. Eh. I'm gonna get Talon rounds out so we have some ammo options. There's a six day, five hour, 10 to 12, 21 Intel, Intel package, pack of workstation on Advent train. So I have a Scrapper Shinobi here on the specialist from West Asia. We can make a squad work with this, I think. I could see the uh, the mission better on the map. So wait, you already have a ton of freaking health because you have the officer uniform. Specialist scrapper. The heavy with the uh, shredder and the plasma is pretty freaking good here, I would assume. This is going to be a 5 man versus 10 to 12. So what's our damage look like? Inducer Carbine on a specialist. This allows us to reset our cooldowns. The shotgun, I mean, I'm going with the shard gun here. That's a hefty amount of damage. Lots of AoE, lots of Ability to shred, do damage there. We can bring the hunter. The hunter certainly can do some damage. Especially with snapshot, weapon handling. Does Bull Rush, I'm assuming Bull Rush's damage is based off the combat, right? This is something I wish I could ask Karuka, but I, uh, that's what I, I have to assume, right? Um, so this is one of those items we probably need to upgrade as well. And that's the laser cut lists.
Now, I wish I knew if there was a mag tier of that. In the meantime, we'll make it work. Definitely go with a speed loader there. Do we get a uh, AOE type ability here? No, we don't have really the need for the stock. You hit with a melee attack and a bonus move so we can get in and out. The hunter certainly is probably gonna have to hang back a little bit more. The heavy can do some serious damage. The Shinobi. Man, I uh, I don't know what I'm doing with you. We have AP rounds. We do have some shred. You have a lot of health, but if you get stuck, you know what? If you get stuck by frost. We're going to want that weave, I think. So we do have medical protocol to get us out of that as well. Yeah, she has done a great job. Um... The one thing I, I mean, I'm working right now on the force level chart for mod jam stuff, at least in regards to my pack. But I think I have like everything, at least alien wise, that Kuruko's looking to add. Um, and then I think localizations need some help. So I'm starting to take some notes there so that when we, uh, to, to I mean, because if I can help, I'm more than happy to, right? Like with this, but like this Ashbringer looks like. You know, it would be something like an emulator type thing, and which it is, but it's for the mech. And I, I wish there was like some type of tag system. And this goes just in general with XCOM, right? Of what this is replacing or upgrading or slot, right? Or or class that uses this. Um, because that, that's one of those things like, like yeah, what we did earlier, right? Like we bought it and we're like, okay, not what we're looking for. Some of them are kind of explanatory, but yeah. Like the stutter mag says S and G in it, right? But I'm loving it. I've been happy to be a small part in, uh, you know, putting together a list that works and for people to have uh, a good experience with and to test a little bit with. You're fucking useless is what you are over here, Kenji, at the moment. But okay, we're going to live with it. Strength goes up, we have a problem though. Need just a little more health there. Well, class can use the weapon. Could be done. I think we're looking at the class data files and heading to localization. Oh, there's like if there's like a way to program that, that would be awesome. All right, that's probably something I'm gonna have to look into this weekend, uh, and figure out how that might work, or if I if I need, we need to go in, or like want to go into each weapon individually and figure out what they're used for, right, and just add the amendments to each of the localizations, I would be happy to do that as well. And probably both of them are going to take me some time, but yeah. Um. Okay, so strength five, strength five. We are hiding on two regions. Strength three. Man, so if I do this, my next region costs 200 intel. But if I wait, I can get this. But this is such a weird location, right? Because the only way in and out are through these two areas.
I'm not doing that. That timer's not good. Oh, I need to get a Haven Advisor here. Okay, officer training. Our research was a success, Commander. Psionics, what's next? What am I missing on Illyrium? Five Illyrium cores? Okay, so we just need some more cores there. It might be time for robotics. I mean, it might just be time for the bio trooper autopsy as well. Gas grenades could be very useful. Bitter frost rounds also then increase the effectiveness of frost and our desire to try and use that. Hybrid alien sword tech. Maybe I need this for uh, some of those upgrades. Oh, I need the muton autopsy for the arc blade. That's right. in the flame canister here from the purifier corpse I'll see that work begins let's get robotics we know there's an immediate I'll use for that when I have a full report available. celebration one on a horrible timer Chrono's recovered from his wounds Richard's out in 15 hours okay so the Mech Templar. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this? All right. So before we begin. We might need to change some of this guy up because this guy looks freaking ridiculous right now. The weapon needs to keep that, that purple color going on. Where are my new Templar? helmets and the skirmishers i thought i got the templar ones as well i mean i did get templar ones maybe i didn't enable it okay we'll leave him with what he has then all right Let's go take a look at what he's got, shall we? Rending punch. Strike against any target in a movement range that grants a momentum action after the attack and be used once per turn damage to depend on equipped chassis. Chaining Jolt. The Mech Templar sends the Gremlin to jolt an enemy. Packs chains to nearby enemies. Damage is increased against robotic enemies. Great. The armor allows the unit to pack, pass directly through obstacles. Mech Trooper immunity. It's immune to fire, poison, viper bind, and knockback. 1-2 Punch. A strike attack that does only half damage can't be used with movement, but uses a momentum action point rather than a standard one can be used once per turn. Gain a point of bonus armor and always provide high cover to all adjacent squad mates. Mark a target, making it easier to focus fire on the target. Takedown. A melee finisher that never misses does not end your turn. You will use with a dash move, but can only target damaged enemies at 3 HP or less. Can be used once per turn. Gremlin shocks enemies if they move too close to the Mech Templar, or the Mech Templar moves close to them. The attack chains the nearby enemies. We're taking this. Oh, we're taking this. I think we're going 1-2 punch, Voltic Arc. Fortress, immune to fire, poison, acid, explosive. We already are immune to fire, poison, or chrysalid poison, bind, and knockback. Um, so we'll have to figure out, like, explosive damage or reduction there. Emergency containment. Cannot be killed. This is the thing that was in sustain that wasn't working properly on our other mech. Tenebrous form. As health falls, abyssal shadows shroud the body, granting a chance to negate incoming attacks. Abyssal 
shadows from Tenebra's form lash out all attackers during life based on the negated attack. Dude, what the fuck? With extra immunities, the fortune give uh, over mech immunities. I don't know what that would mean by over mech. Because right now, like, the, the trooper immunities are immune to fire, crystal, and poison. This would add poison, acid, explosive damage, right? Storm generator increases the radius of chain of the gremlin's chain electrical attacks. Gremlin's chain electrical attacks do more damage based on the number of targets they chain to. Quick burn for the flamethrower. Oh, Bastion. Oh, my goodness. Take Fortress Bastion. Gremlin's chain electrical attacks to disorient and potentially stun targets. Counter strike. Oh, yeah, yeah. What extra? So it would give poison, acid, explosive damage. I kind of have a feeling I'm already immune to poison being a mech trooper, but that might not be the case. So we, we'd have to do some testing there. Gam Gambo Wabo, welcome, buddy. Oh, see, as good as this sounds, I want to have like a lot of fun with this freaking gremlin chaining jolt. Two turn cooldown. Yeah, as an explosive damage. But there's probably other ways we can get that. There's also Soulless Aura. Dude, you could pick up Soulless Aura on this boy. Oh my god. When a new group of enemies is revealed, gain an action. And teleport. Your gremlin flies to an ally, granting them immunity to damage until the beginning of next turn. One charge per mission. Immunize. Oh my god. Repair servos. Upgrades A protocol to provide one armor and repair any shredded armor. What do you do with six actions on turn? Well, you just kill them all, right? Is this turn ending is the real question, right? If chaining jolt is not turn ending and is a two turn cooldown and you can use this and then you can do like this one, two punch, right? Like you rending punch things. Okay, here, here's what I'm thinking. Oh man, this is like if you're if you're getting shot right, this works, which is I mean great but not great. Like it sounds fun and all, but I don't know how good it is. I think it's one two punch, voltic arc, storm generator, high voltage. I want to just do this. I want to just try this freaking thing right and see how this plays. It's every other turn. Turn two turn cooldown. Dude, and we have a flamethrower. I guess we're using the flamethrower, aren't we? Hold on. Oh, yeah, we're using the Ashbringer. We're gonna have to get re remove some of the supplies, I think, from us. We keep the gremlin, of course. How much health do we have? We have 10 health. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do this full tech arc. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go one, two punch, arc, storm generator, high voltage. Disorient and stun, shock therapy. Yeah, we're gonna try it out. We're going to try this out. Oh, man. Okay, okay. And we have a flamethrower. Yeah, I, I, oh, oh. All right, all right. She said I would have fun with this. I think I'm going to have fun with this. Okay, Ava, Ava, if you're here real quick, I, I have some quick, quick, uh, I have a quick question. Um, I'm only at 87 Intel. And I probably need to make contact with a region, right? I'm at strength five, strength five, strength three. I have a reduction on my intel right now. So I have 75 here, or I can go to this horrible location, in Eastern Europe for 150 intel. Or, you know, I can do New Indonesia at 150 intel. In my position, would you want to get this information for the liberated region to avoid potential invasion 
Or do you think I go Eastern Europe and then try to get 100 intel to get to, like, New Arctic? He might be back working, not even listening to me. Other people are welcome to give me some feedback as well on what you think. Not just exclusive to Ava. We could crack all the data pads and spend the next nine days doing that. Okay. All right. West Asia has a new recruit. We're trying to fill this haven. So then I think we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do Eastern Europe, even though this is like a shitty region because they have to come through this way. But we're trying to do liberation in Eastern Europe, trying to do liberation in Western US. Um, and then we'll come back and grab that later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Something just just went wild right now. I will begin our research immediately. Strength six, strength five, strength one. I think a bunch of strength just moved into New Arctic. Is it actually New Indonesia? It might be New Indon... Oh, no, because... Well, yeah. It might be New Indonesia. It's a three-region connection instead of a two. I could do Liberation there as well, and that opens up, like, South Africa, New Australia, depending on where we get first, right, for 100, because this is only a, giving me, like, Eastern U.S., I think it actually has to be Eastern Europe, though. If we can unlock this, we can block supply chains quite decently. My black site is in West Africa. So if I go to New Indonesia, South Africa, West Africa is the same as Eastern Europe, Western Europe, South Africa, right? This just has more connections to uh, work around with in Eastern Europe, which only has New India, Western Europe. Because, so what I think happened here, right, is I think this is was actually supposed to be a four connection region, and this is part of that that bug, right? Because I think it was supposed to connect here. The cross-continent connection's not working. That It's fixed in the next update, it looks like. Um, so I don't think, I don't think this was intended to have two connections upon map generation. Because if we if we go into Indonesia, right? Like my thought is like Eastern Europe pulls strength out of New India, right? And they have to go through a New India to bring to Eastern Europe or go around from Western Europe side, but they clump it up that way. If we go in New Indonesia, strength can come and move around from New Australia, New India, and South Africa, which could also then help us pull strength away from here as necessary. And, and it's kind of a few jumps away from them to do things. I do think it's, it's Eastern Europe then, right? Like we kind of, these regions let them do their thing. We get Eastern Europe, then we make new Arctic contact. This new Arctic's in this weird position as well up here. Yeah, we'll get the uh, we'll get the 150 Intel go Eastern Europe, uh, West Asia. Beautiful. We're filling this up quickly. Wonderful, wonderful. We've got the schematics, and our equipment is ready to begin assembly, Commander. I this need to be building the uh, psionic building. I need power. Oh, okay, that's fine. Sign up 
Construction initiated. Start finding out which of our characters have access to psionics, right? Fine, it's only a strength two at that point. East Asia has recovered from retribution. Okay, but still strength six. Faceless to infiltrate our havens. That means no one's on recruit, right? We can still leave officers there, like in the other regions, but I think in our starting region. Actually, you know what? Hold on. No, 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 no. Leave this on recruit still. I, I, I don't care. Right? Um, I mean, I care, but I want to fill this up, and we can find the faceless probably pretty quickly. We'll fill the haven. Um, as far as the other regions go, yeah, we're still on intel. We might get recruits there and there, but... Our action together is complete. I am okay with that. Beautiful. Pulled out a scientist. Uh, when we hunt, we're just going to chain this. We'll upgrade, and then... Keep going, right? We're not really ready to hunt. West Asia for two resistance personnel with the sit rep we just got. I don't think so. Our dark event. Um, Intel is probably worth it. And I think, once again, we could probably send... Send the skirmisher agent. I'm not too opposed to that right now. Decent chance for an ambush, but if we can ambush, we can handle it. Yeah. My kind will do whatever is needed. Yeah, the goal is to get to 150 intel. Seven to nine, smash and grab. Extract, actually. Infantry, Shinobi, Gunner, Dragoon, Arsonist, Hoplite. Let's go get greedy. Let's go get 12 crates. It's very, very manageable at that point. You guys are having a good week though it's been fun so far really enjoying mod jam hope you guys are as well very happy where the uh the balance is coming from like and how this is shaping out to be like it's in a good spot so far So we got to get an akimbo out somehow i got to figure out how to get a warden and a storm rider right i don't really want to just send rookies on missions to get promotions um and hope that we luck into the class at this point right especially when i have to spend 40 supplies on these rookies as are in is the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves locate and mark the crates with transponders and firebrand will handle the rest Okay, we have the infantry, the gunner, the dragoon, the shinobi, the, uh, what do you call this? Um, arsonist and the hoplite. All right. Moving on target location. Oh, remind me when we get back. I know we haven't set the Templar out yet, but remind me to remove those 40 supplies you gave us because we are Stepping actually going to use that weapon now, it turns out. Uh, time. Will do. So. On a move. Well, it wasn't in good investment. We'll just, we're going to work with it. Done. it. 
standing fast. Count is nine. We are going greedy on crates today. Headed there now. Cross Legion Bomber and Sectoid. Okay. Good to go. Let's do this. On it. Got it. Dude. Poor logical man. Affirmative. Poor logical and his freaking nine mobility. I, I mean, he's just, he's just having trouble with that shield and with his utility. Digging in. So we see three crates over here, four, five. get vision of these guys proper okay on the move Ten four. down the motor I mean I, I think it's our dragoon that's gonna start just snagging okay. crates here and everyone else is gonna keep moving up Get ready for future engagements. Scanning. Roger, I've got my eyes on. All set. Hoping these guys would like come back towards me, which they might from that position. We might be able to get a nice overwatch. It would be also be good to get a nice like flamethrower overwatch if possible. Um Out. Need to wait and see there. So let's wait one more turn. Rusted Dios, thank you so much for hanging out, buddy. I really do appreciate it and appreciate you. Uh, maybe catch you later, and if not, have a great rest of your Wednesday, my dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Position confirmed. Affirmative, covering now. On Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Okay. In cover. Let's see what happens here and how this plays. One thing I am considering doing is starting with a bitter frost canister. Though this is a frost legion bomber, right? Bomber fires their shotgun at any hostiles moving near them. Frost mock, cryogenic bomb. I think they're immune to frost as well, like all frost units are, right? Lob a launch a glob of cryogenic liquid that splatters on impact, inflicting bitter frost on everything in the vicinity. Bayonet charge, inflicting bitter frost. Mark the target trench gun. So. Like we start this off with a nice fire emulator. Do we want any other overwatch? Not really. We want to make sure we target that guy down. They won't last long. A lot of burn. That's a lot of burn. A lot of damage. Damn. Okay, so 
this ability close combat specialist i'm hoping this is disabled by burning but i can't verify that right we could test we are in like a testing man situation here we're picking up a steady signal from the transponder firebrand is en route to make the pickup before i do that i need to check what's up here well that's what i was about to do right Eton Destroyer, Wraith Commandos, okay. Alright, I think it is disabled. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a wild guess there and say that's disabled. Burn, burn. You guys are fully controlled. Now, I don't know if his bayonet charge is disabled or anything, so I'm gonna get this kill. I've located target assets. Hostile target down. So here it is. That next pod is like almost guaranteed to engage us. There's another unit with that pod, so I can't verify. Moving to designated I can position. move to that position just yet. We have eyes on the enemy. I found a purifier and drone. Okay. So I have full vision. I should be able to move here. Heading out. Got it covered. Shit, I should have thrown evac last turn. We're pretty heavily invested on this side. There's probably one there, one there. There's not really a lot over here. That's not a v bad evac position then. Requesting immediate evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. We're gonna get some of the shielding out early, I think. I'll save the other two. Finally. Don't mark that yet. Let's see what admin goes for. Ragnadriel, how are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good day indeed. It's going well. We're gonna have a we're having a good start to XCOM today. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. We, we want to trigger everything we could them for ourselves and prevent their airlift you could get greedy on that i think Grovax, how are you dude the freaking new emulator gun we got is great i was hoping not to use our overwatch there but it happens too shabby. And that's the rest of the map, right? That that is the rest of the map. On deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Did we not mark this crate? Did I did I not mark this? Oh, I'm such an idiot at times. Wow. Okay. Muton Destroyer. What do you have? After dodging an incoming melee attack, Muton Destroyers will seize the opening to unleash an eviscerating strike. Provides immunity to stun and explosives. They're extremely strong willed or have smashed their heads through too many walls. Whatever the case, they are highly resistant to panic and mind control. You suffer increased damage from psionic attacks. Mutant destroyers are inelegant creatures, preferring the wall to the door. Stumbling across the battlefield, the mutant destroyer sometimes loses its footing and its destruction it creates. Damn. Eviscerate damper field. Depression concussive blast fire weapon. Okay. Sucks that a logical is like just so far back to be useful here. Actually, a lot of our units might be too far back to be really useful here.
We do have that shred, but we don't have cover destruction. We do have command, though. Okay, Got it. I have an idea of what we can do here. We're going to give Own additional ablative, of course, for this. We're going to trigger everything, as one does. We are. We might be able to get that, but probably not. We're going to have to come back for that one as well. Let's do this. I did not mark it before moving off. That says it's going to burn these two. Oh, it missed. Well, maybe that should have been suppression then. I'm in danger. We, we are not going to have bystanders now, though. But the Wraith Commander, though, gets Blade Storm, which is something we, we cannot... Accept and take. I bet it's just not proc there. You're immune to frost though, so doing this is an okay idea, because then we also have combatives if that guy comes and melees her. Logical is fucking useless right now. So I'm not going to get 12 crates, sadly. Maintaining position. The Avatar Project is only at like 4. We've put enough pressure on Advent this early where it has not been an issue. Honestly, the Avatar Project is not the timer to worry about. It's the Avenger Assault, right? We're going to have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Oh, my bad then. The text sometimes can be hard to uh, convey that, right? Stun is not great. I don't think I have revival protocol here, but we'll deal with it. I don't know what this guy's doing. Damper field, okay. And eviscerate. Good thing we gave him additional ablative. Oh, good thing we gave him additional ablative. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. I'm hit. I'll just go do that then. Hey. Okay then. Fire. 
I don't know if burning disables everything there, but... Gotta hope that's gonna be enough. If we can get eight crates, I'm gonna be happy. I mean, I'm going to have to take that. Deflection. He's dead. Uh, can I shut this thing down? No, you don't have vision of it. Okay. Could shield bash. Yeah. I don't know if that guy has any AoE ability, to be fair. Why why do we have an extra action? Um, look, I'm not going to complain right now, but I don't think rapid shielding or renewal protocol. Wait, maybe renewal protocol does. Grants a unit HP regeneration and stabilizes and revives bleeding out or unconscious units. No, I don't have anything that like if I get a kill, I get an AP back. Do I? You have smart macrophages on this guy as well, which is good. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to complain. We moved him. We took a shot. We get an extra action. Don't know why exactly, but I'm taking it. All right. Um, still have a crate back here. We need to go grab. We have a crate there. We're going to try and get all the crates we can. We have one thing left that maybe can do some damage, but I think I can mitigate most of it. That sucks. I'm not going to be able to get that crate. They're moving. As quickly as they can to get those crates. Absolutely, can grab that crate at least. We'll have to move just as fast. All right. I don't know what the Wraith Commando is doing. I will have to mention this to uh, Karuka because I don't think they're supposed to just be shooting at us like that. Maybe I'm wrong though. He's doing his best. Look, he's, he's really trying there, right? Target package secured. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. I'm ready. Logical with the ship mobility here. Rhino's still stunned. I'm gonna bring my Shinobi back here. She doesn't have as much impact here as I would like. What's over there? She moved up. I think we just double move and try to bait the guard. No way to grab that crate. There is not a crate on the roof this time. So how many crates left do we have? One. Two. Three. One. Two, three. Okay, yeah. So it's this crate, that crate, and that crate. Move, move, move. I mean, it's a decent haul, right? Nine crates. We can get nine. Be happy with that. That, uh, that Muton, though. Wow. Wow. Oh, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that's overpowered, by the way. I think if you control the Muton appropriately, you're going to be okay. I don't know what the Wraith Commando is doing, though, right? And, th and this is kind of a problem. Because he has rend abilities, and we haven't disabled them. Um, let me, let me go make a note my notes um boom 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 uh what is this guy called exactly wraith commando
I'm not going to DM Karuka or anything. It's her birthday today. And so I definitely think she uh, she deserves that time to uh, do whatever she wants. They're immune to fire, crystal poison, and knockback. Take two less damage from melee attacks. Has shadow step. Solid hit, six chill. That crate, that crate, that crate, all right. On the move. Solid kill. Evac is over here. Got it covered. So let's get ready to mark everything and, and head home, shall we? Roger, holding. Here I come. Okay, not bad. It sucks we took damage. It's always gonna suck to take that much. Thankfully that guy actually had smart macrophages, right? So it reduces his wound timer by one. We don't really have another way to mitigate the wound timers at the moment, though. But better than nothing. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Uh, I'm going. Everyone can get out within two turns. A hundred percent. Affirmative. So we're gonna min-max our will just a little bit and evac early. Well, three turns, right? Because it's two turns and then the reinforcement timer. Affirmative. Heading Look at up. that. Look at that. I'm gone. Now, would it be... Would it be too strong if renewal protocol mitigated... Some of that uh, injured HP. I wonder. I think it would be. It's a nice idea and a nice thought, but I think it would still be too strong. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Twenty three days. Yeah, not great. Okay, all squad members gain plus 10 crit chance against enemies you can see. You and all allies within 12 tiles gain 10 dodge and 10 will. Or enemies have a smaller detection range against you. Uh, between 3 and 5, uh, sometimes 6, depending on what we're doing. In the early game, you start with 2 squads in the first month on Legendary, or 3 in any other difficulty. That slowly transitions into 4 squads after you make your contact with your second region three and four squads is is kind of the juggle depending on what mission generation you have the threats what you're dealing with and extra activities things are on towards the mid game i run typically five squads um and then towards the end game i'm running at most three um and the reason is well and, and that depends a little bit on play style though typically my play style towards the end game is all about boosting my three main teams to get my master sergeants out to do water work, right so, so running missions in the end game uh, is almost counterintuitive and counterproductive because you're spending resources and time with units that could be doing more impactful things like golden path missions. Um, and so those other missions don't matter once you have the resources or the intel or things like that, right? Um, I mean, I think it's sensor overlays. To do. Inspiration to do. I 
I mean, this is a plus 10 crit chance. Though, like, let's take an honest opinion of the will right here. The will might be really nice to have with a lot of our squaddies. Our squad mates. I'm going to take inspiration. Let's just, let's just click on it. Okay. During enemy turns, fire your arc throw at any visible enemy within one tile that moves or fires. Shares cooldown with arc throw or stun ability. Your suppression area suppression ability is also disorient. No. Using a mech on injured units also grants them a bonus bonus action point. Second wind I can see a lot of value in. I really can. I really want open fire shredder. Lethal here, but you have low comm intelligence. You're not getting all that. You might get shredder. Maybe open fire and they're not going to get getting lethal. This could just save us damage, right? I don't think it would have worked on that muton specifically, but against a lot of other things, this might just be like a boom, stun, sit down. And we did take... Oh no, we only took Arc Pulsar. I mean, that's AP economy. Maybe I should have taken Stun Gunner over Center Mass in hindsight to go Lightning Chain or Chain Lightning. Shit. I'm gonna take that's close enough. 71 supplies, Illyrium alloys, cores, Elite Chair Trigger, Advanced Stock. Okay. Before I forget, we need to remove 40 supplies from our total, though, because of that that weapon investment, right, that we weren't going to use, that we're now going to use. Uh, so this is a command give resource supplies minus 40. Perfect. There it goes. Okay. Trying to get to 150 intel. West Asia recruit. High chance that these are now faceless. Hey, we'll make it do electrical damage and shut down target ro robots. Interesting. Need the target. Cool under pressure. Open fire. Brawler. Pack a workstation. Advent Train, Specialist, Scrapper, Heavy, Hunter, Shinobi. This should be a fun mission to do as well. This gives us intel and an intel package. I hope there wasn't any intel packages on the map I'm missing. Hmm. All right, give me one second as well. I'm going to lower my desk while this loads up. That was good time spent. Missions are definitely taking a while to load, but it tend to happen when you have so many mods running, right? Peach, you are the cutest girl. Yes, I, I said your name. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. All right, so it's a very yeah, shitty I'm train, sure. sadly. Well, how the fuck did it get in so close without being detected? Welcome on in, Episode Zero, and welcome on in, Raiders. If you guys have not caught Episode Zero out before, you should get, all go shoot him a follow. He's been learning XCOM Long War the Chosen while doing Mod Jam with uh, lots more mods. It's been quite an enjoyable experience over there. He's also uh, does GTA 5 RP, and that's been super fun to watch as well. Axel, good to see you. Jay Lattimore, how are you? Precious, good to see you as well. Welcome on in, guys. Hopefully, uh, your campaign's going all right. Confirmed. Haven't lost yet. 
or if so, uh, you know, it was a good learning experience. Was, you're definitely in a tough spot over there from what I was seeing yesterday. Still going, that's good to hear. So this is the shitty train. We're going to use this opportunity to double move up. We probably are going to end up taking an engagement of five plus. Do have our plasma rocket and shredder rocket, so that'll help no mitigate out. And then it gets questioned up here, at least in a good position to rain fire down as necessary. Done my nose. Yeah, that samurai class is uh is <laughs> is fucking silly, right? Like, uh, and I mean that's that's definitely I think what you're going for in your campaign. Enemy movement uh, here. Big proponent of, of play how you Plus, want. Please. Right? Oh my goodness, and Precious Minded, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Cylons. Enjoy the emotes. Glad you enjoy your time here. Orders Means a lot. Um, yeah, your campaign is... is squad ooh, Biotrooper Pathfinder. Okay, hold on. I'll figure this out in a second. Uh, your campaign is, is silly. It, it really is, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, it it's what, what I've been going for with this pack that I'm curating, like... I think it's best to call it a pack and for uh with karuka is to have have the the wild experience of all the other classes and everything but still keeping it in like the long war the chosen balance perspective um but it's great fun to watch watch your campaign because it's just like holy shit <laughs> there's so much going on that is that is just like yeah it's a little ridiculous Rolling. I could take that drone, actually. Well, I could have taken that drone. So they're right there. Heading to that location. So if I move you, right, this is the two AP weapon. But you can still get Overwatch with this, though, right? Yeah. No, it requires two actions to Overwatch. So you get no benefit from that. Episode zero, I understand completely. Dude, thank you so much again for the raid really do appreciate it and again guys if you have not caught him it's been super enjoyable to hang out over there with him i think we're just eating this i think we're just accepting they're seeing us trying to be in a position to to do as much damage as possible on the following turn Yeah, I can put my sharpshooter here, even if this reveals the another pod. I'm okay with that. Like, like the big thing we have is where? Where's my? Oh, you're my rocketeer. Yeah, so we can just move you up and blow whatever else we need to up. I could also just take the surveillance drone right now, but I'm not going to. Roger that. As far as the shinobi goes, it's a small shot that we actually keep him in stealth. But we will try. And then again, I think I think we're just moving up. Headed there now. So I don't have Overwatch, but they're on green alert, so they're not gonna have any offensive actions. The Pathfinder certainly has the mobility to do whatever he wants. But if they want to stay there, I'm cool with that. And we found the Raptor Commando. That guy's a bit of a problem. But we didn't trigger. Okay. So that might trigger. That would absolutely trigger. This weapon does have shred. Okay, so you move here, begin with, spray the Pathfinder for some shred, 
And just a massive big hit. Okay. You then move here. for the kill. I get it, right? I'm trusting you here. That hopefully gets the kill on the Pathfinder. We have to roll a four. Beautiful. Roll the five. You have snapshot with weapon handling, so you shouldn't really get a penalty here against the drone too much. Or you can miss, and that's okay as well. Um, so, the, I mean, this reveals you, leaves you out in the open, but hopefully doesn't reveal the pod below. If it does, we're shit out of luck. Okay, so you overwatch and we eat the stun. Got some hostiles grouped over here. I have revival protocol. As long as she didn't, as long as the drone didn't stun. Uh... Question: We're golden, right? Let's take this engagement. Okay, so we have a snapshot and we can get a flanking shot on that Raptor Commando. Should be able to get a decent shot on the sergeant from up here. Hundred percent chance to hit. Beautiful. Okay, so I could go for shutdown protocol if we want to get rid of that and guarantee it there is one more pot on the map the count is nine i could just bull rush that gets us a kill this guy also doesn't have loot though so i might just want to throw a grenade at him and see if we trigger anything else does have 75 aim Okay, so yeah, reveal our shinobi, get this kill. Beautiful. And then we just move up. So it's hard to see if there's gonna be any position I can hack from without getting up there because this is the horrible train where the opening you have to like get in here to get vision on unless we try to blow up on the side which is something we could consider <laughs> trying with our rocket especially since we know there's only one more pod left i need to throw evac as well next turn need an evac. we're going to be pushing off of this bridge here in a moment anyways this is firebrand evac request confirmed hold tight yeah that's going to end up being a double move all right, let's move our shinobi up first. I'm going. I guess that'll be okay. I have a feeling the pot is on the other side if we haven't triggered anything yet. Got it, moving. 
that triggered, I think. Okay, so it's a pupa and an advanced assault. Advent advanced assault trooper. Okay. Well. I don't necessarily have a good way of dealing with this assault trooper right now. Such a close encounters, laser grenade, fire control. I could give a teamwork to Valora. Valora can do what? Move there. That doesn't really do a lot. She can move back. Yeah, I think we're just eating the uh, the shots this time from the assault. Man, that's a lot of damage potentially. Four to six. Okay, so, well, you have to move. That won't destroy the cover, so that doesn't really do a whole lot for me. I am taking the 40, because I think next turn you can get closer. Come on, focus. Endly. Seven. Yeah, I think Reaper has to take the hit. What's over there? I'm pinned down here. There might be two more left after this, by the way. Oh, he's going up there. Okay. I can work with this. Put himself in a flanked position, even. That went a lot better than I expected. Still no kill there. We need to watch out for close combat specialists. I don't have lightning reflexes to mitigate that. Phantom Knight, how are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Okay, I'll go. I do think there might be two more on the map, but I think I can leave a weird guy out this turn. Especially to guarantee this kill. I'm doing good, man. It's a good Wednesday. Good day for XCOM. Thoroughly enjoying... Uh, don't have whirlwind yet but there's more than one uh we do have a teamwork to get you out of there okay uh thoroughly enjoying this pack you know mod jam it's a lot of fun i forgot to grab that loot there i could run and grab it that's such a gamble at this point though especially with two turns left If there's anything that's not on the map, yeah, I can't do that. I, I can't in good faith do that. Double time. Like if there's anything left on the map, it's a really bad idea. There is stuff left on the map. Okay, I'm really glad I did not move Valora over there. Okay, I'll go. We're near the objective. So this is a really bad position to be in if they're coming this way for next turn. Infiltrating their system. We also did not bring a laptop here. That might save us a lot of intel. You got some news though? You haven't yet broke the rest of DMG? Like good news? Bad news? successful acquisition of the advent files eliminate any remaining hostiles in the air. sure whenever you're ready to share will be the right time right back online 
Hopefully good news though. It's not good, it's not bad. Just news, just news, you know. You're welcome to share here if you want. I'm not gonna pressure anyone to share things they don't want to though. If you say so. But I'm sure everyone would be supportive of whatever it is. Ooh, do we have a tower on this map? Enemies moving on our position. Work related Blake from having a life. Are you being deployed then? I would I would guess. And if so, I mean you'll certainly be missed, but you'll certainly be welcome back here with open arms, you know. You know how are you? Dang dude, I hope uh if you don't want to share where you're going, I totally get that as well. But I hope it goes smoothly and goes well and just stay safe. We miss you too, Gino. Hopefully we'll hang out soon. Enjoy your day at work though. Kind of exciting though, Phantom, at the same time. Uh, yeah, man, stay safe. Take care of yourself. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Definitely looking forward to, I mean, I don't know when you're getting deployed, but whenever you return, I'm already looking forward to that. It's a scary world out there currently. Yeah, that's, that's, stay safe. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Dude, never feel pressured to. Never feel pressured to. I 100% like, like my my thought with it, right, is I, I don't, I hope no one feels obligated to like tune in or like, oh, I need to watch or hang out. No, when you're here, happy to see you guys. You know, but like, I get it. Life, life is important. Things happen, you know. Oh man, I, I, I hope that's the sentiment everyone feels. Right, like if you're busy with life, like you're busy with life. And I mean, I, I would much prefer honestly to for people to be busy and doing productive stuff with their lives than tuning into my stream at times. Echo Luguna, how are you? You can a weird guy. I, uh, I, I might be one of those few people that like actively encourages, you know, uh, not watching me. <laughs> Okay, so fire a shot that deals critical damage gives the target penalties to aim, defense, and will for turn cooldown. Once per turn, take a reaction shot with your sniper rifle at a visible enemy that's fired upon a visible ally. This actually might be really good to use here. This might be better than tracking, even. I hate that it's like defensive though, and then like we have to use reload actions if we don't have an expanded mag. Right? Or I guess we need to put an auto loader on this character. The bullseye. Reduces defense. Minus 20 defense. Until the end of battle. Until the end of battle. Hold on. I I I oh this probably can get cleared by chosen, right? That would be my guess. Because you can't crit the Chosen. But it's also going to be really good against Sectopods, uh, Gatekeepers, Muton Elites. Yeah, we'll take Bullseye. Facility Lead. Is that our intel package? It might have been. All right, we need to get missions going. We have 110 intel. We also made contacts, so this is now 225, 75. Wait, did it not? Do they not stack? This is 101 intel right now. Oh man, okay. So as much as I thought it was gonna be Eastern Europe, it might need to be New Indonesia. This saves us a lot of intel, and this, these were the two we're debating between, right? I 
They're not directly connected. Yeah. Okay. Phantom Knight, dude, have a good day. Hopefully talk to you again before your deployment. But, uh, stay safe, man. You're always welcome here. You know that. But it's kind of exciting and scary at the same time. Uh, this squad is... Oh, God. I never use Jammer is the problem. But Jammer might become useful. Trial by Fire. The squad's not using going with low rank people. This is our liberation squad. West Asia. Okay, so we're at 11 here. We're going on Intel and one on Recruit. We're still leaving the... Uh... Wait, wait, not on Intel. Supplies, I'm sorry. Supplies and one on Recruit. We're still leaving one person on Recruit here so that we can generate... Um... Personnel to fill the Haven. Strength two, strength six, strength five. Another I have a lot of time in this game. In it's research. not easy, right? Um, I was using it right before reinforcements doesn't work. No, it should delay that, but then they'll double up the next time. Yeah, Liberation Four might be a good spot to do it. Green, how are you as well? Uh, it's I just I have a lot of time in this game right now right is something to, re to remember and consider it's, it's still not easy like I I also just know when to cut my losses and restart uh, the hardest thing about this campaign has been that I have I going to need a reload right because we're not doing an Iron Man playthrough streams pre-recorded yes preemptively figured at this time exactly there would be a conversation about how easy this game looked for me um and this is just a pre-recording talking about that um okay so i need a lyrium cores i thought we actually got a fifth core but i guess not i i actually don't think it's battle armor or mobile armor just because these are a pretty big cost investment right now and so i think we're gonna go with a few of these uh these autopsies for now. Drone chassis, drone shock beam. I think we want to go with maybe another enhanced weapon crate. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Someone recovered from wounds. Wonderful. We'll get it eventually. If there's a cost with it, right? It's going to be 30 to like get it out from the proving ground, and then it's going to be 50 to upgrade. And so things, right now, like our, our supplies are being built on infrastructure, right? We got our first liberated region. We're, uh, we're working on like stabilizing and getting regions open to run missions. Liberation 1 keeps getting at a shitty timer here. I think I have Faceless in this haven. Signal's coming through clear. Regional contact. Your tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight for We gambled and it's strength 5 with a vigilance 5. Okay, so this is our next contact, right? For 100 intel when we get there. For Western United States. We really only have one region we can run missions in right now, which is a damn shame. And I'm looking for liberation. I mean, I should put a scientist here in three days. Hans Advent Acid Launcher. Yes, I absolutely can explain that. Give me one second, and we will do that.
There's an ambush chance here, but I think this will be okay. And send the recon. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Okay. So strength is the modifier that's being used for uh yeah, you, uh I don't know if it works properly on the covert action. I think it's letting me, but that might be because of other mods. Um you might be able to spend the spark though. Um but part of me says I don't think it thinks so. Alright. Strength is the modifier that's being used on how many units are gonna be on your missions, right? This also contributes to what type of missions can generate. At strength three, you can have an intel retaliation. At strength four, you can have supply and recruit retaliations, assuming you have people on those jobs. Um, at, vigilance is kind of the modifier of how active you are in the region. Every mission you do successfully increases vigilance by one. Um, and and there's certain missions that have like a plus three modifier on top of that. Those are called propaganda missions. Advent wants to have the strength equal to vigilance. And so if you have a higher vigilance region, like we do it in some of these, uh, Advent is going to queue missions up to pull strength from other regions to bring it over to these, uh, these areas, right? At strength four, you're able to find a troop column transport or troop column, uh, just raid where you can kill off strength, right? And at strength four, there's also the potential for a full retaliation to generate. So, so these modifiers here are like, this is how many units are gonna be on the mission and what advent activity is going to do. Vigilance is what advent wants their strength to be. And then the fourth level is the tech level of advent. And this is global, right? Even though it's tracked locally, this is like what units they can actually field in the, uh, on your missions. Does that make sense? I hope that makes some sense. Yeah, absolutely, man. This will prove to be an important step forward. The turret. I want shredder rounds. So to lower vigilance, you put everyone on hiding, right? Um, for each person working a job, uh, oh, okay, so let me, let me start over. Every five days, you lower vigilance. Unless you've completed a mission within those five days um, or, or, or have people working. For each people on a job in a region, it increases the vigilance reduction timer by 12 hours. So two people on a job means every six days, four people every seven days, eight people, there are six people every eight days, right? So one of the re ways to reduce vigilance is to put everyone on hiding, have no one working a job. Scientist or engineer or soldier here is considered working. Scanning with the Avengers is considered working, right? Um, and we'll, uh, yeah, over time, it'll start decaying. If you complete a mission within that time frame, it resets the timer and then it needs to, to decay again further. Uh, the mech mission, how was that? Um... I haven't run a missions with my new mech yet. The mech Templar, if that's what you mean. We just got him out. We haven't used him yet. We just had the two missions, the Intel and the uh, Extract. Skylab, now operational. No, not yet. He was just uh, on a mission or er, in training. Picanthium, how are you? Mech Templar, it's from one of the mods that we're using with Mod Jam that you can turn people into mech soldiers. It costs an Illyrium core though each time and the higher rank they are, the more it costs. We might want to get a second one out at some point, but we're going to start with the one and, and have fun with it. Um, okay. We have a few psionics. I have Emma Brown, Valora. I don't know who Bulby Strakovanovsky is. A scrapper with the gift. Okay, so these things now have something called the gift. Immense psionic potential within themselves. Scrapper could be good to get psionics on a weird guy. Funny, we have two psionics on this squad. 
And none on this squad. We might be switching some people out. Okay. Let's take the scrapper. So if I do that, is that two days? Turret break down one, that's fine. I need some mission generation going on. I need a region I can work out of as well. Add 100 until make contact there. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. The ultralight vest I hear gives me additional mobility. I kind of want to get that out. Uh, psionic overhaul, I believe, and a, uh, I think there's two mods that we have for Psy changing in Mod Jam. Um, cut content, psionics for long wear the chosen, and psionics overhaul. Are, and then more Psy abilities, I think, so three. Uh, more Psy abilities, cut content, psionics overhaul. And two of these are Perukas for uh, Long War the Chosen, the Psionic Overhaul, and the Cut Content Psionics. So, yeah. Uh, the Reaper does have the gift, yes. So we're going to have to see how that plays out. I think I'm going with the Pathfinder to get the Ultralight Vest. That's enemy flight paths. Ooh. Want a UFO? I'd have to boost it. This delays contact with another region. I'd probably have to boost both of them. Gives me intel. I'm doing it. No, because especially well, so in vanilla, like in Long War the Chosen, absolutely not, because you have to run missions with them, right, to level them up anyway. Then on the follow up, there is uh, um. Yeah, no, you can't just spam Psy. I mean, you could do a Psy rush, and they they certainly have some use early on, but. Yeah, you can't just spam Psy. The arsonist along with our mech here kind of actually seems counterproductive, but these two are combo together so I guess I'm bringing them which means I need additional ways to get some additional damage in the form of a ranger or a well I could remove these two the squad bring the ranger and uh, the scrapper okay so hold on let's do this let's take the ranger and scrapper out let's take the uh arsonist survivalist out of here we're gonna take the the ranger and the scrapper here that gives me psi on this team as well we're gonna put the arsonist survivalist here so we don't have the scrapper this time but that's gonna be okay you need a mag rifle Specialist is on training. We're gonna have to buy you some armor. Probably gonna have to boost this mission as well, but we get the intel back for the most part. Uh, the Grenadier can actually have Frost Bomb here. AP and frags are gain two AP, one frag, and a Frost Bomb. Heat Warheads, I actually think this is the other way now.
God, that weapon's big. All right, I'm gonna need some nozzles for this. I mean, I'm super curious on how this is all gonna work out, to be fair. I'm gonna get the upgrade Gremlin as well. How much supplies do I have? 53? There's a big boy flamer. How are you, Red? Good to see you, man. I bring the hunter again. The hunter definitely does some damage. So since you have a drone, are you able to now hack? Fusion protocol, yeah, okay. the hoplite um i think so i i don't know exactly Protocols, eight ally hack electronics with damage enemies. The gremlin also gives you scouting. And this one gives you a hack bonus. I, I don't know what the real differences are. We're going with the gremlin though, because like, I think that's just what we need. Um, right, this says the gremlin shocks enemies, not the bit shocks enemies. And since we're trying out this like uh, Voltic arc build with our new Templar mech, the fucking thick boy. We're gonna see how it works. Slums, 12 enemies. Ranger has multiple ways to kill people in a turn. Grenadier can offer control, kill people. Hunter can kill people. Hoplite is about not taking damage. Whereas the agent is about killing people. The skirmish is on a covert action. Let's bring the agent. bring a six boost at 10 to 12 this is for flight pass okay oh i could have put suppressors on i think we'll be okay so we might have sold most of our suppressors. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. So, so I'm going to not be able to bring a six. Maybe maybe with uh, suppressors, yeah, but I just lost two hours by doing that. I forgot to get the upgrades I need. So, agent. What was the other class I had here?
the hunter. We might have had the hunter here. The hoplite was the last one, right? Not that hoplite, though. Um, I need upgrades here, even though this is going to cost me a lot of my supplies. Wow, that's going to cost me all my supplies. Unless I just go to... Maximum range by one. No, I want max range by two. Yeah, I don't have any suppressors. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take five. And we're going to boost it regardless. So we probably still get the seven to nine. I think we're okay with this. We have mag rifle, laser and shotgun, laser rifle. And the freaking new Templar that we get to see how crazy this is. One med kit. A little questionable there. Don't get hit. This is probably the safer option as well to do. Okay, I'm going to take a two-minute break as well so I can go get some more water. So I will be back in just a moment, guys. Okay, we're back. Quick break. Uh, let's see. Available 18. Yeah, I just need mission generation right now. Hopefully things that we're not going to boost. So this expires in one day, four hours. I should put a scientist here. We're only at strength two. Um, we're trying to get better timers here. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. Three days for resistance fast. personnel. As good as that would be, I cannot afford to do that right now just because the timer is shitty, which makes me think I do have faceless in this haven. Um, Undying loyalty. I think this is the second time Undying loyalty is procced. Nine days for an extract. Hell yeah. With the lost. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. 
Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. So this is the abandoned city. We have a Shinobi Specialist, Arsonist, Survivalist. I'm quite happy with that combination. Definitely going to begin the Immolator out here. Um, I need another utility there. We're probably going with Nanoscale. Not a lot of upgrades to throw out at the moment, but that's okay. Immolator. Gonna just have the high velocity nozzle. And we're more than likely also taking med kits here. Survivalist is an Epirion medkit specialist, has frost protection. Hacking, I can't afford another gremlin. The shinobi has the sword. So let's also bring the uh the hoplite. Shield trauma here, right? stun people uh i'm gonna go with a mag pistol since we have them available and it's laser sights probably a fine pick there and then let's grab the assault maybe might be good to get promoted up i'm gonna let the spark get fully repaired so we don't have a lot of like additional damage, but we don't have a lot of things that draw out the lost. Um, one thing we may actually want is that gunner class that can do a lot of damage versus lost, which is not the advent SMG, not the laser cannon. Laser, the pulsar, maybe it's the pulsar. We want the juggernaut. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. It's a smart gun, isn't it? It's this thing right here, this gunner with Terexius. We could definitely bring him. I definitely could use the gunner promotions. This thing is good against the lost. Clip size, smart overwatch, reactive fire. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think, uh, I think we can do some damage. We can get a little bit aggressive. We have our bond mates here. We have panic potential. Uh, the hoplite. We're not gonna be able to afford your shield, but that's okay. And I think the gunner, as a precautionary measure, just gets insulated weave over the flashbang. So our damage is coming from the immolator, the mag rifle, kind of the carbine, pop light for control. Gunner certainly can put out damage if necessary. Four to eight with the center mass, five to nine. No BSMG. Yeah, let's do it. I think that's a good team to queue up. Hope you guys are having a great day, though, man. Really appreciate you guys hanging out, playing this with me. I'm really enjoying it so far. Excited, though, for Friday coming up. Seize control of a robotic target as of manipulating a puppet. Guaranteed psionic damage, ignores cover, and armor. I think it's soul fire. Took Friday off? Nice. That's awesome to hear. I'm just, I'm looking forward to uh, our co op campaign with Dorava on Friday. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Damn, they're nailing that right now. We'll need to move fast. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. I mean, I need Illyrium cores and I need supplies, but. In the meantime, I guess I get to knock all these out. Do I have another data pad, actually? Eight days? Ooh. I mean, the Cryo Rocketeer might be good to try to get the Bitter Frost out.
just gonna put him there. I know I'm gonna keep him there. There is a lot of items, yeah. One of the, like, trappings of uh, this mod right now. Strength 5, Strength 6, Strength 6. We're also within range of invasion. We're hoping that we're going to be okay, though. Yeah, like, that's that's one of the problems, like, with Mod Jam, right? And why I'm glad I'm, like, trying to explore some of it. Is there's still, like, a, a hidden timer that we have to... Uh, uh, keep up with on our tech right because we're, we're fighting off chosen and we're gonna need to start hunting the warlock and maybe the hunter so that we don't get full retaliation but I need those promotions okay new India has recovered from retaliation we're still at strength 5 strength 5 yeah strength 2 all right here's flight pass Seven to nine. Templar, Grandier, Agent, Hunter, Ranger. Let's go check out our new Templar, shall we? Okay, I'm excited right now. Yeah, I think, I I mean, I hope I'm providing like good feedback for Karuka. We've had a lot of conversations about that. We get to like see things change live, right? On, on how things are working. Um, I think there's been a lot of like good changes so far to really create that like, that difficulty like level of long war the chosen especially on legendary while still like feeling you get to explore explore other options and by canthium thank you so much for the 15 bits dude i appreciate it um one of the the things that's nice right is like like we've we've seen ourselves pretty much like come to wipes we've had to reload certain missions um we've had to back off missions that were too hard and i think that's healthy right it means like there's there's we're not just like steamrolling things at all right some missions certainly look easier than others but like Overall, we're still having to, to push ourselves and figure out the, the proper counterplay. And um, so I, I, I'm, I think it's in a good spot so far. Uh, I definitely plan on doing another mod jam playthrough down the line. Like after we finish this, this one, we're going to go back to get the legendary the Iron Man, Long War the Chosen victory, advised. and then come so back to mod jam and, and see if we still agree where everything is. Right? And, and I think as more destroyed. people are playing Mod Jam, there's going to be more feedback that can be provided. Um, and my hope is, you know, like, it, it's supposed to still be a challenging experience, right? It's not supposed to be be easy, steamrollable. All right. Oh, we got a lot of things here. Yo, Podinsky, how are you? We have Rending Punch. This is 1 AP ends turn because of momentum action. We have Chaining Jolt. Mech sends the Templar to an enemy to jolt them and tax chain nearby enemies. So this is one action, three turn cooldown, and ends turn. This is a half damage punch that you can use on momentum. So we could do rending punch into one punch. We could uh, do movement chaining jolt. We can do everything ends turn here, which is maybe part of the problem. This is where, so this is where the mech AP economy that you have is is feeling lackluster as making this guy mech. Right? Or like the Templar AP economy, I should say, is a lot stronger than what the mech might be providing. But that could just be how I built it as well. It might not be as viable as I was hoping. Beat, beat. Finally get into your PC. Dude, I am loving Mod Jam still. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of craziness. It's a good change up I of pace. Alright, Medic. Things like that over there. So we're definitely going to be taking that pod engagement early on. Got it. But yeah, yeah, I'm having a, I'm having a blast with it still. How's, uh... How's Skyrim? Aren't you doing a Dagger Vault? Come get I think I saw. How's that going? Commander. That's good. It's, it's the one we made in Unity, right? Chains to nearby enemies. See, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we just wait for the Overwatch here. These guys are all on yellow alert. They're not going to get... Or green alert. They're not going to get yellow alert action. I'm just bullseye. Holy fucking shit! Wait, man, how are you? 
Holy shit. So so this is a hundred percent chance to crit. I thought it said thirty one hundred percent for a second. I was like, what? It's a hundred percent chance to crit, which I mean if maybe if you can get additional crit then elsewhere you can still crit the chosen then with that. Uh I was definitely too excited. I thought it said thirty one hundred percent chance to crit. I was like, why is that the modifier? Okay, that's a little bit more manageable. Moving to designated position. Alright, we don't want to overextend here. Uh because there's a mech that I don't have vision on. Um, I think I just study weapon again. Oh, uh, you actually, ooh, 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 because of your flamethrower, I don't know if I want you to do that. Yeah, it's, it's our mech Templar. We're, we're trying it out. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Eyes peeled. You might just freaking bop. You have my trust. Silent bop here, and I don't want to do that. They know I'm here now. Armor still holding. And a one, two punch. Oh, yeah, he phases through everything, right? Okay, what is this thing? White man, how are you? Welcome on in, buddy. You say Spark's a little OP in mod jam? They get like three shredder and heal perks to squatty. Um, I mean, I think they, uh, having multiple shredder guns is certainly very strong, right? Um, but with everything mod jam's throwing at you, I, I don't necessarily think they're, they're the strongest thing, right? The one thing that I think regular vanilla like long War the chosen has that's much stronger than the current mechs is hunters not hunters instincts hunter protocol where where when you engage a pod you get like a 33 percent chance to shoot them and then when you have things like hollow target shredding and uh sentinel overwatch as well on top of it it just gets silly how quickly mechs later on can just absolutely like eliminate entire pods right um it, it's one of the, it's yeah, I think they're strong early game. Oh man. I I I think yeah, I think they're strong. Are they are they too strong? I don't know. They might be. They might certainly be. I'll have to like consider more on how I wanna like how I think about that, right? Cause I, I absolutely yeah. They're, they're very strong. Three shutter guns and heal perk. I mean, the heal perk is is one of those things where you're like, all right, you can just keep running this boy, right? Well, this is more about like feedback for Karuka, right? On how how she may want to change up the balance on it, or how we want to look at it and approach it that way. Um, Got it. I think the healing perk probably it, if you adjusted the healing perk to be a perk to pick up, right? And say a place of of something else, and we'd have to go take a look at the tree. Uh, I think that's where the one thing I would change is. I, I don't really mind, uh, things being strong necessarily, but there needs to be some sort of drawback at times. And one of the strengths of a mech is you can send it out constantly, right? Even when injured and with the healing up perk, while they don't regain that at the end of the mission, they still have to spend their time in the, uh, the engineering bay. Like, I, like that's something that like encourages you to keep bringing them out. And they get experience. They're not like the the throwaway shivs and and alloys, uh, alloy shiv, um, throne and like the the shitty mech, right? When did Big Dick Energy turn into a robot? We put him in the mech, uh, trooper, thingamabobber, and now he is uh, <laughs> he's a big boy. Yeah, I uh. Point, man, you bring up a really good point. Give, give me a little bit of time to consider that. We'll have to go take a look at our actual mech's talent tree and what they have access to and, and see if we can offer some aye, aye. feedback that could potentially, like, still keep them strong because they're very strong still in, like, Long War the Chosen, Finally. right? Uh, one of the, the advantages of the Proving Ground early is getting that mech out for 50 supplies 
and then being able to run missions and have that strength and the weapon upgrades. Scanning. I, I think that's a fair assessment, though, or a fair, a fair thought, certainly. Overwatching. Well, I, I say the, the Templar is OP. But then, then some people say that the Templar is uh, just like a normal soldier, if not worse, and we should be able to train them out of the GTS. So, you know, I don't know where I stand with everything. Blitz and Override. You only have 65 hack and you would get... I guess Blitz is a shitty reward, isn't it? Okay. Uh, five turns left. We need evac down. We need to get into here to hack. We're going to have to hack with our Templar as a turn. I think that's going to be fine. More than likely, there's a pod down here somewhere. Though we did not get any sound cues last turn. Uh, Advent's definitely stronger. Uh, some of the classes are, are like ridiculous. Did you see the muton this morning, Mappy? That we fucking dealt with. These mutons seem a little this thing has a charging attack, attack, destroys all cover in its so path, and hit us for like fourteen. Line, right when it hit us, it has some disadvantages with itself, uh, like that. It, apparently, it can stumble over, uh, and. Like, I eat some other things, right? But, like, my god, that thing was fucking silly. I wish you could see the chaining range here. Right? Oh, yeah, I've been having a blast. I'm very glad that she's asked me to help and given me, a, like, an opportunity to provide feedback. All right, I really want to try this training jolt. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was called, but the thing had like freaking like 19 health, like four or five armor. It just was absolutely uh, a beast. Holy shit, that's strong. Oh my god, our new Templar ability. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my, I'm having a blast. I think that's one of the like important things as well, right? With Mod Jam, it just brings in like so much new life. This Voltic Arc. This thing's Muton Destroyer. That's what it was, crazy eyed. Well, we had to spec into this, right? We went like the full Voltic Arc Storm Generator, high voltage. But like, if we, uh, if people move next to us, we also volt them. Well, that, that captain is just, <laughs> God damn, God damn, that ability is too good right now. That captain is just stunned. Oh my goodness. There, there is a cooldown on it, right? Like I can't use it for two turns, but does that matter? When like for one turn I could potentially just stun an entire group more if, and have more control than Bolt had? Oh my god. Question, you've disappointed us. There is one more pot on the map. That's well I need to watch out for. Will do. The hollow targeting is good. I, I don't think that should be under underestimated at all, right? They, they were. I can't wait to get back to them, though, right? But it, it's nice to have a little bit of a break. And I think Mod Jam's really fun. I think it's in a good spot. Um, it's certainly still hard. Like, we've had to reload certain missions and certain things, right? Like, where we just we just were getting kind of uh, annihilated and had to back off certain missions, things like that, which I think is really, like, healthy as well. Yeah, the, they have Damper Field. They just like go fucking crazy, charge their way through everything. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the gremlin shocks enemies if they move too close to the mech templar. If the mech templar moves close to them, this attack chains to nearby enemies. <laughs> oh, this is this is like my highlight right now. This thing's this thing's fantastic. Karuka said I would like this. She was like, "You you will have a lot of fun with this class," and I'm so glad I chose it. Oh man, oh man. On the move. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm just gonna rend punch. We didn't throw evac, did we? Yeah, bitch, evac 
Oh my god. I want to see this work on a rainbow pod. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Solid copy. Okay. Solid copy. Okay. This let's just let's just talk real quick. Uh this class is not balanced. Th this class might have just become the most need some attention. It might need some TLC on on this in general. My god. Yeah, an AoE indicator would be nice, right? <laughs> oh. Well, they're expensive, right? That thing was a one, it took like, we don't get our Templar anymore. It was 30, 40. It was 130 supply investment with one Illyrium core as well, right? Well, well not the most silly thing in the long term. Certainly still uh, a bit of an investment. All right, so you're not blue movable from anyone, but you do have, and you don't have chaining jolts up. Okay. And we haven't even used your flamethrower that we gave you. Okay, so I think we have to go here and hack. Well, do I? Tired of waiting around. This is for you. Yeah, we can go hack. I forgot these guys just phase through objects, right? It's like, oh, there's a wall. Let me let me just deal with that real quick. Um, yeah. This actually pays for the entire boost. Um, and we have a mission after we have to boost anyway. But we don't get it, so it doesn't matter. Oh man, the next mission we have is going to be perfect for for this Templar. We have a UFO. This is a flight pass we're doing right here. Menace one five status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Locked and loaded. Okay, you're frozen. You better not be able to counterattack me right now. I like wouldn't be surprised at this point though with some of the uh, the things, right? Oh, I can just lacerate. Those mechs will still lose. Will I think so? Yeah, like they, they're not like full mech, right? We still have a will cost here. Of that. Okay, now we just have to wait for uh, three more turns. Knife him. Do it. Hair trigger perception. Um, yeah, fun mission, guys. Ooh. All right. I uh, my initial assessment of <laughs> this mech though is <laughs> what the fuck did we just do? What the fuck did we do? All right. This is this is silly. I see the allies of our enemy. Got it covered. My biggest concern is actually like flamethrowing my own team though, right? Like like that's what I have to watch out for, especially because we did give additional range to their flamethrower. I might have to take a look at what other weapons he can equip because going on overwatch with that is, is a liability, right? 
I mean, that's really what this is. It's just a liability. No one gets by me. <laughs> Laura, how are you? Good to see you. All right. Feedback for the mechs, though. What, what feedback could we provide? We haven't seen all of them yet. We've only seen this one. Right? We've only seen this one so far. I'm sure it gets fatigued. I, I believe so. I believe that was part of, like, their balance. Or her, uh, like, design with yes, them. Commander. They need a buff. Oh, no. He's going to hit me because he has close combat specialist. Except I stunned him. <laughs> oh, no. One of the enemies is, is uh, invisible here. Oh no. Oh no. Th this is silly. I don't even have to attack and my droid is just going to go frickin' Oh no. I just hurt them. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I, I just move and it stuns them or disorients them. Oh god, this is great. I I can't either, right? I can't either. I'm wondering if if I, I'm gonna go melee them, right? Like, wait, where's the other guy? Oh, I see over here. He must be over here. No, he's right there. Okay, I just couldn't see him. The elders have protected them well. It doesn't trigger a third time. It does not trigger a third time. All right. Is the Stun Lancer stunned? I can't actually see what's going on down here. I mean, you're stunned. You're disoriented and stunned. It looks like you're stunned. Yeah, they're both stunned. Angry Visco, how are you? So this is a part of like one of the mod jam mods to turn things into mechs. And we turned our Templar into a mech. And they have this ability, Voltic Arc. Where it shocks enemies of too close to the mech templar, or the mech templar moves close to them. Right? Uh, the attack chains nearby enemies. Does more damage, has chance to disorient and stun. Oh, I'm, is my internet having problems again? Oh, fucking Spectrum, right? I think so, Ava. We're gonna try it out. Oh, yeah, there was a little hiccup. I apologize. Okay, let me let me go through this again. So, yeah, we have Voltic Arc, right? Where it shocks enemies if they move too close to the Mech Templar, if the Templar moves close to them. Increases the radius of chain. Uh, do more damage based on the number of targets they chain to. Can disorient and potentially stun. That's just by moving before I even, like, attacked, which it did a second action on. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I'm leaving next turn, and I think I just like, I just move and then move, right? Overwatch, scanning a beat. Overwatch, eyes peeled. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Can you get one move to trigger multiple times? Uh, like, like this maybe? Yes, Commander. I don't think so. I think it's going to be like one for blue move. I mean, I don't know. They don't have enough HP to really test how many times it would chain, right? Finally. Solid copy. Head now. Al Saris, uh, I apologize. So what happened was, hopefully, hopefully you're caught up right now. And my internet's staying stable. Um, so we have this ability, Voltic Arc, which is if we move close to enemies or enemies move close to us, our our uh, our spark is going to shock them, right? Our gremlin's going to shock them. We have it chaining. Uh, we have it doing more damage based on the enemies it chains to, and it has a chance to disorient and stun. All, uh, we could do this while just moving on a blue move action. We don't even need 
to uh to like have an attack go we just move close it triggers we can attack it triggers again creates for a very silly silly environment i'm leaving the battle yeah yes L -L. no no this is this is broken and i'm completely open to ideas on what we can present to uh to karuka to tune this down a little bit right Did it pair with the skirmisher or another templar to switch enemies to the All mech templar i mean we should just get another templar out and turn it into a mech templar <laughs> We should just bring eight of these at Waterworld. Suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical. No, an enemy does not have this ability. Not that I've seen so far. I mean, we still haven't come across custodians, right? And I know custodians are going to be like a real challenge. Um, we're only at like force level eight or nine. There is an ability that they get more AP and a pot reveal. Oh my god, weird guy. Hold on. I'm certainly impressed, Commander. Another heroic effort. Master crafted advent weapon crate exotic. Valerium cores. I want to open this up. When a new group of enemies is revealed, gain an action. Uh, we're taking that. I mean, Solasaurus sounds great. Sounds fantastic, but, uh, wow. Wow. That's all I got here. Wow. I mean, we d Yeah. I... I like the idea Elk is if, uh, to get rid of the Mech Templar moves close. Right, I, I like that idea. Let me let me jot that down. Cause oh man, this, we're gonna have to go through like all these med classes. I have a feeling that we we're gonna be playing mod gem for some time. Um, Templar mech. Uh, so this is like on Voltan Voltic Arc. Vol Voltic, Voltic, dude, my pronunciation is awful. There's a whole channel on my Discord of me mispronouncing things. It's just my brain doesn't like words sometimes. Voltic, I think it's Voltic Arc, right? I think that's good as well. One turn cooldown. Um, Voltaic, Voltaic, Voltaic Arc. Voltaic arc. Thank you guys. Yeah, feel free to correct me. I, I don't take it personal. Like, if I don't notice this stuff and no one corrects me, I'll never notice, right? Yeah, so what I've written down is I've removed when the Templar moves close, treat it like a gremlin blade storm if enemies get close or act within four tiles, right? Or not even Bladestorm. Honestly, we could treat it like a a, a close combat specialist, um, right? And then put it on a one turn cooldown to prevent multiple procs per turn. Um, hmm. The so cooldown might become an issue, right? But yeah, I mean, I we th these are both good ideas and. If we think of any more, because we're going to abuse the fuck out of this thing for the time being. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to give it a go. My god. My god. They're... Like... Wow. 
Wow. I'm so glad we just went with this chain. Um well if if it if it gets changed to to it doesn't trigger with us moving right only like defensively right it wouldn't matter ccs would trigger first i agree i mean this is like their default thing right this is their this is what comes with squatty what what you just start with is the chaining jolt you have to spec into it to do this crazy amount of damage but yeah i haven't even used the flamethrower I haven't, I haven't, I, we did use the one-two punch. We did use the rend. We did see the wraith and then they have mech immunities and protocol suite. We need to get a better chassis though. I got to figure out what we need for the chassis. God, what a, what an absolute Chad of a unit. Oh, I want a second one. So badly right now. Nine days and ten hour timer. Ooh, with undying loyalty. Ooh. All right, so we're sending only the Templar. Yeah, disorient and stun is wild, right? Full control, basically. We also got insanity on our scrapper with the sight underlay. Now we need to play around with this guy a little bit. I don't have supplies to really buff anyone up, so whatever we have is what we have. I guess we're taking the shotgun, so he has something here. Who wants to watch the Templar do his thing? Save and try to do the Templar only? I'd still have to wait for it to infiltrate, and we have other missions. Oh. We're not doing it right now. We're not doing it right now. We're gonna come back to that later, right? Zitzi, how are you? We're not, we're only at force level nine though, right? I don't think we're at advanced priest yet. Or tier three priest for Solus Aura. Things are going well, man. We're having so much fun right now. Things are so silly. What do I want to bring? <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, where's Pilot Jones? He's in collector training for seven days. That's fine. I, but I want to do it like later lappins. Like we'll, we'll near the end of the stream, right? We'll come back and we'll just see like if it's really as silly as we think and what we want to do. For now, I want to like keep focused on actually progression while I, while I have the uh, momentum. I mean, it's a fun idea. Started veteran casually and need a lot of UI mods. You mean for Long War the Chosen or XCOM 2 or what? What can I help you with? If you're looking for Long War the Chosen, that is my complete mod list that I use on our Friday campaigns with no cosmetics or anything else. Uh, I recommend every mod on there. Um, please make sure you read at the top, right, on what you need to do for configurations to make it work properly. Um, but yeah, that is that is the the filtered minimalistic mod list that we use on our Friday campaign with Garava and I. bring two sharpshooters need to make sure we get this guy loaded out first Uh, not scope. I want. I don't want a scope here. So I don't really need anything here. Yeah, the dragoon officer might be nice. We're gonna get our officer back soon enough. Um, 
I kind of want the squad available though to go run right more missions because I don't think I need them. Well, I need to figure out how I get better frames, right? I don't know where these are from. But I think we'll be okay. Scrapper, Ranger, Grenadier, Hunter, Sharpshooter. Bring one more unit. So we could bring the hoplite. Oh man, do I really want to go at 16 through 18 on this? I mean, yeah, I want to. Well, we already have um, brighter armor out, right? So it might be the next armor tier. We'll have to take a look in our research, but I think we need like 50 supplies for it. It's probably the heavy armor, to be fair. Yeah, let's do this. We get 16 to 18 corpses out of this. We also have Insanity already. Man, see, I don't know about this incinerator, right? This, this is my big question here. But maybe the flamethrower is good, but it does it does a lot of damage with destroy corpses. We'll keep the flamethrower just as a precautionary measure. This might be necessary if we don't freeze and stun everything, but I think we're just mailing and going on, right? Well, this is a UFO, right? It shouldn't change. This isn't based on the strength of a region. Like, it's not moving strength around. Um, it might go up. If it does go up, that's fine. But the UFO shouldn't change. This is coming from off-world, which I think is based on your global vigilance level. Intel. Almost always Intel. Um, when I get to the Geoscape, I'll explain why. Because I, so th there's like some discrepancies on what people do here, right? But um, I would rather generate missions than, a, than have supplies come in, right? So the only time I actually put anyone on supplies is when I have a region liberated. Otherwise, I, I don't find it worth it to do, especially when you can trigger uh, supply retaliations, which are some of the easiest retaliations in the game, but it's just not worth it to me. I would rather have missions generate um, so that I can get experience and gain resources that way, right? And then it allows me to push things like liberation, which we're hoping to pop up here. Um, especially if you're going out high strength, right? Putting people on, on 
anything like a strength six region is just a mistake i just would go hiding as i am here though when i'm if i'm in a region that's like lowish on strength um which is like three strength or less i will sometimes put people on recruit if i'm trying to fill a haven up or if i'm not like active in the haven so if i wasn't going to run missions in western us right now i'd put like everyone on recruit and just try to get as many people in there as possible so when i do switch over to intel i have more people filling that bucket uh there's not a win condition there are missions that can generate only when you have all regions liberated uh Durava has done a full liberation campaign it's very boring yeah you can keep two on recruit duty safely right but it, it contributes to the jobs right so instead of five days it would be six days um for dropping vigilance i'm trying to lower vigilance in these regions That's Liberation 1 on a very low timer, but I think I can do it with Savage. I mean, that's the mission I'm looking for. It would appear the aliens have sent a particularly nasty group of creatures into this area. It seems even Advent can barely control them. I would strongly advise caution. I think we have Faceless in this Haven, though. Cannon, SMG, emulator, SMG. I already have an advanced suppressor. Oh, I'd have to replace the heavy barrel for the suppressor there. Uh, completely different play style. When you play quietly, it has advantage and disadvantage, but it's balance weaker than typical Intel strats. Certainly, like, like it's not the, uh, the only way to play, right? Is, uh is the way I play, right? Where everyone's in tell people do put people on supplies and, and do those retaliations. It's not like a one trick pony there. Um, how I play is I'd rather have missions generate, right? This is not a bad group, by the way, for, for having to throw no additional investment in here. We have a subway map with an arsonist, an agent, a dragoon, a gunner, and a shinobi. I have shred, I have fire, I have fire, bitter frost canisters, AP rounds. Silent Bob can put out a lot of damage. We have a lot of our bonds here. I mean, we're not gonna be running the fourth squad with the, the agent then with my skirmisher, which I would love to have, but gives me liberation five. Yeah, let's do that. What other class do we want to turn into a mech? This is now the next question, right? Now I gotta figure out how to, I gotta get a second Templar. I hate having the heavy or the juggernaut in here, but better than nothing, I think I have a faceless over here. So I just want to get rid of this if we can. Six six five. It sucks this region was five. Uh when we get hundred intel we're making contact with New Arctic. Dude. Dude, ZZ. Wait until you see this mission. Our freaking big boy right here is the most broken shit ever. Yeah, I think assault mech was the recommendation. I don't have the supplies to do it right now. So once we get like some stockpile supplies and cords, we'll probably turn the assault into one. Avenger plotting new court. I also need to uh, get out of Lyrium. 
I have the Illyrium, I just need the supplies. Yes. So so it removes that as like me having the Templar class, right? And and should open up the Templar mission, hopefully, for us on the next cycle. I wanna open up this exotic crate. Or no no, not that one. I wanna open up uh the other crate. Oh yeah, I have this advanced acid launcher. Picked up, we should give that to someone. No, he is not immune to multi-target attacks. Uh... So, so the only thing he's immune to now is, well, it says fire, chrysalid, poison, viper bind, and knockback, right? So we might be no longer immune to poison, acid, and explosive damage. Um, I don't know about poison, though, since we are like mech. We'll have to find that out as we play. But it would seem silly to have poison be something we can actually, you know, take on a mech. Um, but yeah, there is Fortress as an option here. But you know, Voltaic Arc. Voltaic Arc. It's hard to, hard to switch up there, right? Switch up there. Um. Didn't we get an enhanced crate? Or no, we got a mastercraft crate. We need eight scientists, eight engineers. Scientists, no, six engineers, seven scientists. Okay, so we are looking to get more of those. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, right? I just, I don't know right now. Setting course for the Western US precinct. Well, we might have to put restorative mist as our like secondary there, right? I suppose if that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. We've gained some additional intel on the Chosen as a result of our latest action. You're starting to win over my people, Commander. And that says something. Things are going so well, it sounds like my Reapers can take on some new orders. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Oh, I need to probably get the Reaper out. Oh man, this is not great. I really don't want to, like, I want the Skirmisher to come on missions. I don't know if I'm running anything here. I just, I think it's better to try to get a mission generated right now, because I could bring these low levels, but it doesn't even affect the failure rating at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to Keep an eye on try to generating missions. Six, six. I need to make contact here once we get to 100 intel so I can know if we're going to have retaliation, right? Or invasion. Still strength five, which is where it started when we unlocked it. Our research was a success, Commander. All right. So I think battle armor is probably where we get the, uh, the frames. Yeah, that's the reinforced frame. If that's what we want on the Templar, which maybe we do. But maybe we just want to go straight into Illyrium. Any thoughts? I don't care about mobile armor, by the way. I just don't care about this at all. 
I think it's Illyrium and then Battle Armor after. Maybe. Because, I mean, this is going to lead us to Coil Guns, which is still going to be expensive. Gosh, but yeah, so what do we actually unlock from this? Basic research. Seven days for that. Engineering as well. We do need the scientist and the engineer. All right, I can get behind that argument. Let's see the new frame. Let's let's explore. Let's do battle armor. We're about to pull out a uh, from this technology. a bunch of stuff from these, right? As soon as the Strength went down to one. There's the scientist. I don't have upgrades for the Reaper, so it's hard for me to, it's hard to convince me to bring that right now. Let's get a VIP from Advent Vehicle. Let's bring the Recon. Though I might only be doing a five man here. Well, yeah, the Femme Fatale is gonna be our full female squad if it ever worked out. <laughs> All our squad names are becoming memes, <laughs> sadly. Well, that was the plan. We have a lot of like females in the roster now, so I was hoping to have them all kick ass. But, you know, as campaigns go on, they tend to be put in different squads. Um, okay, so the skirmisher I'm happy with. The technical, I mean, I kind of have to be happy with with whatever we got here. All right, what's our biggest issue? Well, we have Shred, so he has value. The Juggernaut has a rocket launcher, but I bring these rockets and suddenly I'm at like, I'm only at 100%. So under barrels do not add to well, actually you know what do this don't even bring a laser rifle bring an smg okay between the skirmisher and the spark i have a lot of damage the juggernaut provides a lot of value with their heavy weapons right technical can get close and burn but that's about all they can do the Grenadier can use grenades to weaken things up, soften the blows, let let us clean up elsewhere, and the recon has main. Um, yeah. I need a little bit more. I need just a little I need like two hours for flight time, right? You're my only med kit. We're not gonna have you have the flashbang. There we go. Oh, that doesn't even give it to me. There we go. The trooper armor gives uh, reduced infiltration time. I want to have at least one flashbang. I mean, Ava is going to be a beast. The mech's going to be a beast. We get another scientist out. Frank dropped to one in this region somehow. I need to go check my other regions. A hundred percent. Do not launch a mission under a hundred percent. So the only thing that doing stuff over, see now we're at strength seven. 
Uh, the only thing that you get from doing missions over 100% is the vulnerable right, um, which is is going to be minus one strength at the first checkpoint, minus two at the second, and minus three at the third. Strength is the modifier on how many enemies are going to be on it on a, a map, right? Uh, I'll over infiltrate when we're things at like strength three, four, and maybe five if we're still running missions because that lowers strength, which lowers the unit count. Uh, but 100% is the goal for every mission and to launch at 100% ideally. Yeah, they might be moving to invasion. This is why I need to make contact here. We also are at that timer. I think as a precaution, I need now need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight on Intel to make sure that we, we pop the precursor if it's going to show up because I do not know what strength is here, right? We launch at 70%. They are reaching two checkpoints there for additional aim, health, mobility, dodge, and defense. Um, right? I believe the first checkpoint is between like maybe 80 and 100. It might be 75 and 100, where they gain five aim, five defense, uh, five dodge, one health, um, and one mobility. Right? And then at, next one is like, I think you get another plus 10 aim, two health. It just gets harder and harder. Right? If you launch under 100%. They gain a ton of bonuses as well as you're dealing with additional units because you're under infiltrating, right? The baseline is like what it's going to be at 100%. So if it's a baseline 7 to 9 at like 70%, I think that's three checkpoints for strength increases. So it should be uh, 10 to 12, 13 through 15. Uh, that's going to be a 16 through 18 mission on top of their bonuses, like their defensive bonuses they gain. Running a mission at 93%, like we took an extra guy on a 93% mission one time to get some more corpses. And they fucking destroyed us. It's, inc it's insane how much just like that innate defense and health can add just to wear your units down, right? Like, so now behind full cover at 45 with a plus five, they're at 50, right? 50 defense that you're trying to shoot through and they gain additional health and they have additional aim and they have additional dodge. So even if you're hitting them, you're probably grazing now at this point. This was changed from Long War II, by the way, where you could do missions at 0% and just you would if you got like a supply raid or a troop column transport in the first month and a half you just ran it with like eight people because what's the worst that, what's going to happen you're going to restart your game if you win you gain all those corpses right which is so much supplies and so much just like forward momentum well there goes strength to two yeah they're moving strength around i think they're prepping for invasion Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your Only lost 22. Concentration. Grazes are upgraded to normal hits. Commander, and you have outdone yourself. The elders have blessed me. No, empowered me. I can't wait for the new changes coming with the uh, Chosen. And I will not fail them. We might take the elders by surprise if we switch up our tactics. Maybe we should try something new. I see. We only have one faceless in that haven. I think if we even have a faceless at all. Bring to plan our next up. I mean, there's no risk here. 13 days, just do it. Give me another Templar. We're gonna have to start hunting the Chosen after this anyway. Also, we're at Force Level 10. Did anyone see what date the Force Level went up? I wasn't paying attention. Um, I didn't get the Force Level 9 date either. But it should have gone up on, I think, the 18th or the 19th. Oh god, I forgot to like pay attention to those. More so, maybe when I check the VOD later, I'll see. I, mean, I don't have a team to run that. That's a great timer, but we have the missions we want here. Strength went to six, six, five, two. No, no, force level is every like, so so it's supposed to be on a 16 day cooldown, but that doesn't seem accurate at all based on what our 
our info has been on what's been going on like since I've been tracking it, right? It's like an average of 16, but it can be as low as 14 days. It's not the same growth rate. So, so I was, I went through, like, I was trying to figure out exactly when forest level is going to go up and there's just so much variance there. So it, it's like at a minimum every 14 days, but every 12 days or something, it generates the mission and the, the, from the mission timer is when that timer starts, right? So it creates this variance and, and the average is 16 days, but it can be like 20 days, depending on the vision generates with a long timer or a short timer or doesn't generate for some time, right? There's, a, there's like all these variables for forest level. For, so it's not like a static increase, right? Um, and then like, yeah. So you know you're, for, you're going to forest level two, by the way, on, on March 20th or 21st right it like rolls over on that day but then it goes like like our next one is april 4th which is a, a uh what is that freaking 10 13 day timer right yeah there's a mission there's a mission we've actually seen the mission the mission's not supposed to generate in a region you've contacted but if you contact a region and the mission had generated you can actually prevent force level from going up right the weird thing is it's supposed to pick the safest region and this is one of the ways that we start I, or at least i started realizing that there was an issue with the region connections right is because we would connect a region and apparently advent thought this was like a safe region and why i was like these two region starts are getting strange because we freaking spotted it one time and i was like what like you're not supposed to be able to see it unless you have like full liberation but at that point you're already at like past force level 20 right but yeah in theory you can stop the mission like it's it's and it's so hard to predict. That's why I'm trying to just get, like gain information on when it's happening to beat timers. Cause you can use that information as well, knowing that it's supposed to be on a 14 day minimum, right? To to like what what we did with Liberation 5 was like I was beating a timer. We were beating that July 4th timer as soon as it could come out. Six, seven, four. So strength went down here. This is not invasion worthy. Oh, this could be invasion worthy as well. I need to make contact here. We need that intel. We need to get more people in Scilab, but everyone's on missions. So that's okay. Building coming out one day. Avenger plotting new course. I think I just scan here. We're ready to go, Commander. If well, you skull jack, we can build one at any time. Uh, it has it has a name. Um, hold on. Under agenda. No. On wait. There's there's a name for the mission. Uh let me see if I can find where it is. No, it's not repression, not rendezvous. Where is this? Um, shit, I'd, I'd have to find it. I, I can look in the files later, but it, it has a name. It's like, it's a reinforcement type thing, but it's not a UFO. Um, and and it, it has like a counter, Counter Advent Tech, like description on it. Um, 
you've got me curious now so I can make sure I get this accurate information. I have the mission spreadsheet, Nicola. I'm not seeing it here. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. That's what I was looking for. Oh, no, no. Like, you're, I've only seen it once, right? I didn't know you could actually find it. Like, otherwise, I think it was a bug that we even saw it. Like... See, I don't see the mission here. Repression's not working, apparently. Um... Add force level? No, no. Oh, wait, wait. Is it? Did I see it? Is it here then? I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's supposed to be an add force level. Oh, here it is. You're right. You're right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, add force level. I'm just dumb and saw troop troop. Here, this is it, right? So, so this is it. I'm, I'm just slow. Add force level part one. And yeah. So, so it can generate every 12 days. It has a 16 days global cooldown, but like this cooldown starts once it gets generated, which is where this variance comes in, right? It has a duration of three to seven days so you can get like a, a longer one. And it has a, a detection chance factor of five, but it's supposed to spawn in the, uh, yeah, choose the region deemed safest for aliens which I don't know why I was able to catch it in a region directly next to my starting region in a campaign. And we did it in like just not long war of the chosen, like vanilla long war of the chosen, not, not in mod jam when we saw it. But yeah, the first part is recover a hack and then you get a UFO. If you can catch that though, if you could ever catch it, my God. Yo, big if true. All right, let's uh, let's get these missions going. Spark has recovered from wounds. Spark is on a mission. Look, there's my faceless. See, I thought we had a faceless in this haven. Beautiful. Happy to remove this. Yeah, what is the facility construction um, timer? Mission generated is the raid supply line, right? Alien region furthest from XCOM with vigilance of less than or equal to five and strength of greater than or equal to vigilance. One in the world, three finished facilities, one for every 10 points of extra global strength. Cannot share a region with a dark event or another research facility. Duration is 45 to 48 days. Detection threshold 850. Holy crap. You need 850 points into that to get that? Wow. That's actually wild. Over a 45 to 48 day period. What is that? You would need 18 points per day to even catch it. I mean, I guess with a bunch of upgraded people, right? The construction of the facility? We're in concealment. Damn. I've never caught that. I mean, I've never just like gone for a full liberation though. Headed there now. And if it's looking to put it in the furthest region from XCOM contact. Guess I'll take your word Seems for it. like you would definitely need to already have facilities built. Ooh. Right? Or go, go, go. Uh, most of the the world opened up right at that out. point. Solid copy. Moving on target location. Moving to designated position. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Chronoxus doesn't have anything on him. We just threw him in here. 
Oh, that's that's my fault. Okay, so let's not let him get hit. Go, go, go. So we do have a lot of laser here, so we should be okay. Stepping off. Running. Yeah, I mean it's a very long timer, right? So like, if you contact the region, they're building it in. You could detect it, but yeah, yeah that's that's a, a long timer. Karuku, how are you? Good to see you. Tactical ablative armor, yes. You know, just uh, just a few points of health. We did get a new toy, and I do have some feedback for our new toy. Uh, because we got the Templar mech at your recommendation. You're like, you're going to have fun with this. Uh, yeah, we're about to do a, uh, a UFO and see just how broken that we can get this to be because that shit is dumb like in a good way right now but overpowered and i have some suggestions i'll message you later with where maybe we can balance it out a little bit uh the shock build is just it's silly it's silly good heading out I actually don't know where they're going to come from, I, but I do think they're probably closer to the road. Order's confirmed. Move it out. Solid copy. Time is wasting. Moving. Yeah, they got to be closer to the road here. Scanning. On it. Hey, Canoxus, just don't get hit, buddy. That's all we ask. Shut up. So I'm hoping they want to keep walking this way a little bit. That would be uh, the ideal way to take this engagement. On the move. And then we can move after, Good move copy. up to this move cover. Position confirmed. Yeah, sure. Roger, oh, don't worry about oh, me. Oh, um, a couple other things, Kruka. Um, yeah, I did the chaining jolt build. It's silly. It's so dumb. Um, the. We're spotted. Oh, I have notes. Hold on. Let me let me get through this so I can hit escape properly. Um, the Advent Templar character just kept firing his pistol at us. It was very strange. Your assault trooper uh, got really aggressive. Then took a really poor percentage shot on a guy very far away and left himself flanked. So I, I, I think the assault's working. Um... Well, I have, like, I have notes. Oh, there's some lo localization updates we were talking about as well, potentially. The Wraith Commando. The Wraith Commando was just sitting back and shooting his pistol. Doing nothing. Um, the Ashbringer should probably mention it's for a mech. And yeah, the Assault, uh, the Assault got, got really aggressive and left himself fully flanked. Took a really dumb shot. Which I don't think is intended there. What's over there? This is for you. I mean, it was like a thirty percent shot, like with his shotgun, right? At least that's what the flyover text was saying. There's a chance moving there reveals you say. the next group, but I think we just take the risk. Yeah, I don't know if there was like a better shot closer, right? Um, but there should have been. We had a guy in like half cover, like eight tiles away, and he shot someone like 20 tiles away. It was kind of like bizarre. It did move up, yeah. It, it got it got real aggressive, and it left himself like fully flanked from a gunner, right? Because I had a gunner like behind full cover here, and he ran up to a position like right here to take a shot at a guy way over here, like up high on half cover. Uh, and we just like lit him up. Maybe our guy was at full HP though. I think he was at like seven with ablative. Seems doable. Tired of waiting around. I'll uh, I'll go grab the I'll go grab it from the VOD this afternoon as well to show exactly what I was 
what were you saying? What was going on? Anytime now. I'm on Overwatch. I'm on it. I'm on it. Sure. That's very nice of you. Whatever you say. I've got hey, a powered bayonet. Multiple Lyrium cores. Dang, this is a this is a good no problem, boss. haul right now. I've got it. Very nice haul indeed. All right, we're just gonna fall back. I know we don't have Overwatch for these guys, but I want to like be able to move back in. up with everyone. I mean, I think his shotgun was only like four to eight, right? Didn't I think I commented right. on that? Was like that's not that bad. Like we can eat that hit. If it got a crit, yeah, it'd probably hurt like a motherfucker. But I think I think they need to be like I know they have a lot of health and armor. Seems doable. But I think they can afford to be a little bit more tactical with the shots they take if you're leaving them alive like we did, right? But yeah, the mech. Well, we'll, we'll have to. I'll have to send you my notes to the mech after we play with it a bit more and Finally. see what's Go. actually like viable to change there, or if if the uh, I'm going. the I'm abilities going. we took are are okay with being that strong. Because yep. I mean, it's it's three potential volts like per turn with that stun and shock and chain and just get crazier and crazier. The hero class mech troopers? Okay, hero class ones. Yeah, I, and I'm. Let's move already. I am happy to uh, to try to help change some of that up and balance it. I Not today that. though. Today you shouldn't be doing anything. I'm going. Relating to fixing this stuff or balancing this stuff. Good to enjoy your birthday. Everyone here should wish Kruka the most happiest of birthdays. Where is this pod, by the way? Fine. There they are. All right, we'll restart after this mission. This isn't going quite as planned. <laughs> These hitmen and they're holding up the rifles, right? Okay. Um. Targeted by enemy fire, I'm fire back with your primary weapon once per turn. Turn fire. Or frost grenade. Okay. Take this. I don't even think you can see this girl. Nothing should happen. That did not do enough. I do think we're running gunning then to kill this guy immediately with an eight. So that gunner puts us in a really questionable position. Oh no, that's Karoxis. I really cannot have. Let's do this. That close. I really don't like staying by all these gas canisters. I have a feeling Flashman disables that though, because it's a secondary. So we have to bring armor, so we are going to need to spread out. It's a regular gunner. Are you, are you immune to stun? No. Albert, how are you, buddy? Good to see ya. They saw Shadow, the big idea of a mech on the ground cell, so that's hilarious. We'll have to try it. Maybe we'll have to turn all of our heroes into the mechs this run. You'll love that one. For that, that feedback and balancing. I am having just an absolute blast with this, though, with Mod Jam. Like, my god. It just keeps being so fun.
All right, so we do have some people in half cover versus the gunner, which is not ideal, but it does bait the shots away from my unarmored assault. I can't move. They can start with they start with conceal and pick up phantom or can't oh my gosh we might have to to play around with that just because it sounds freaking amazing Here I come. so health is a resource on our civilians as long as the car doesn't blow up you know, I was, I was hoping for some of that crit damage, right? You know, maybe helping us out a little bit there. Alright. Oof. Come on! Missing the 92. Alright, Cracks. Cronoxus. Dude, why did I think it was someone else? Canoxus? Come here, buddy. Boom. All right, we got faceless out of this haven. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And a promotion. And the corpses. Oh, things are rolling. Dude, he can go hug his mother because that's the only person who wants to hug him back. Or thing that wants to hug him back. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train. Aces have a face only a mother can love. Um, yeah, on the one, yeah, on the oh man, it's making it look easy out there, Commander. I don't think the cost is the issue, right? Uh, we're gonna take Killer Instinct here. Parabinet, Lyrium Cores. A lot of good stuff. So far. On manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. My my initial feedback so far, and we're gonna we're gonna. I mean, I'll send you all this as well, but it but it comes down to uh, if the Mech Templar moves close to them. I think this would do well if it switched to something like a close combat specialist where if they move into it or act on their turn it triggers right but the the moving into them let us like move and then do an action and then do the the one two punch right to keep triggering it multiple times and it stuns slash disorients the other consideration is to have it be on a one turn cooldown or, or something that like it can trigger once when I move and then once when they move. So like it, it resets between turns, right? So I can't just like keep chaining it. Things like that I think could could balance this out just a little more. Well, we've only run one mission with this. I think I need to run another mission, right? Uh, but, but that's where this gets like ridiculous, right? Yeah, that, that's what it is right now. It's Chimera Squad's Voltic Arc. Oh, is it lagging? No. Come on, Spectrum. Actually, then I think this might be Twitch. Rusty Diaz, how are you? Good to see you. My my internet's actually like stable right now. Um like it's incredibly stable. Voltaic. Voltaic. But yeah, my, my internet's actually like incredibly stable right now. I know, right? It's I, I think it might be Twitch. Um, no worries, no worries. I, I do not mind repeating it. So so what I think could help this, right? Um, is if this becomes something that only triggers once on my turn, then once on their turn, or or is removed from with the Mech Templar moves, right? 
And I, I honestly think the increasing the radius or chain range is fine. I think the more damage for the more it chains is perfectly acceptable. Uh, disorient and potentially stun, fantastic. But yeah, it's it's this initial ability that I think is just far too strong. Hey, Banjo, how are you, dude? Good to see you. But let's not change it yet. Um, Yeah, it might need a Bladestorm cooldown. Like... Yeah. I, I don't know, like, it's uh, it's kind of like close combat specialist, but... Yeah, I don't want it triggering multiple turns. Like... Um... I would honestly be okay with it if... if Okay, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't care about the cooldown if it just had the remove the mech templar moves close to them, right? Because then if multiple ad like if you put him in a position, right, where multiple advent are running into him, or he starts by multiple advent and it has like a three tile radius or a four tile radius, like close combat specialist, and they move or shoot, right? It it does damage to them and can keep chaining. Like I actually don't have a problem with that. They're still gonna get their actions right. But if they want to like group up, then potentially it causes like some chain reactions, does more damage. I think that's cool. I think this really just comes down to the mech templar moving close to them, needing either a cooldown or that that part removed. Uh, what if it was on a higher rank? If you switched containment field and voltaic arc, I would also probably be be okay with this. I think I think this forward operator is just going to make this silly. And we're about to see hopefully after a promotion i think containment field is not that strong of a, a pick right here right this is like sure oh get out of jail free card for one turn but but i don't think it's it's that strong of a pick i think solus aura is actually like really good here as well um because these both provide a lot of a lot of benefit i think i think putting this further down on the tree and like just switching those two would would just be fine right like yeah that's just some initial thought right i mean you could even put voltaic arc instead of chain discharge i think right like this ability is it's really good Plus, plus you already have Chaining Jolt, right? So so you're, what, what's happening is Chaining Jolt is strong and you're gaining the benefit from like Storm Generator, High Voltage, Shock Therapy still. So it requires you to use your AP. This is turn ending, right? To, to use this. And then like later at like the Master Sergeant rank even, Voltaic Arc. arc. So now it's passive as uh, Nuke is, uh, is mentioning, right? Like you're gaining AP economy. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know about shuffling down a rank. What if we move Storm Generator to Corporal? High Voltage to, to Sergeant. And then Containment Field to Staff Sergeant. But leave Shock Therapy up here at Tech Sergeant. Because, I mean, Disorients and Stuns are really, really strong. Like... Right. And then maybe we'll move Voltaic Arc to containment field slot. But I think shock therapy at Tech Sergeant's a fine spot, right? Uh sustain's been removed on the uh the regular tree. We do have immunize though. Hold on. Hold on. This is actually pretty good, right? We can potentially pick up. Yeah, I, I think I think that's a fair trade. Like here with forward operator, this sounds very, very good. Solus are very good. Right. Now, don't make this change until after I run my mission though. We we built our team. <laughs> we built our team to go abuse this. So hold on. Oh. Uh, um Where's the teleport? 
Oh, teleport here. T instantly teleport anywhere within squad site? Oh yeah, this seems freaking. This is gonna be fun as well. We might, we're probably picking that up over Crusader Rage for chain discharge. Oh, look, I wanna have some fun with it, guys. Won't change until I respect the Mech Templar. We're not respecting it until after this mission, and then we can. But yeah, I mean, doesn't that seem more fair? Like, other people, can feel free to give some feedback with it, right? Just that's some abuse, just use combatives. I do pick up combatives. But like, like, I think everyone's in agreement here. This ability is just <laughs> silly strong. Oh, silly, silly, fun strong. Which is out of out of control okay i really i really want to go do that mission i'm not going to get the uh the update yet either i want to go eat lunch but what do we have we have so many missions queued oh i have a smash and grab already ready to go let's do this specialist arsonist survivalist shinobi hoplite gunner we have the lost the extract on the abandoned city seven to nine let's go do this We might have to eat lunch after this, take like a five to ten minute break so I can go heat up some chicken. Down some food. Then uh Yeah, the UFO is gonna be fun. I'll have to uh like Peruka, also give me like an opportunity this afternoon or tonight to take a look at the tree maybe a little bit more as well to maybe refine where I think some of those go. Those are just my initial thoughts. And uh, I may still want to stand by those later, but there might be uh, some more stuff that I realize when I take like a closer look and can like, you know, step back from everything else processing that's going on in the campaign. Oh, yeah, like, th th it still might need to be be tweaked further, right, with, like, a Bladestorm-type cooldown. Um, yeah, I, I don't doubt that, to be fair. Oh, we have this map, eh? Affirmative, moving out. Okay, so we're probably gonna hold off by the waterfront. I'm probably gonna get my sharpshooter like up here instead of sitting back over here where their line of sight's blocked by a lot of things. Rolling out. They can only hit each target once per turn. It's not something you can probably do. Definitely be balance change. Um, okay, I mean, like let's let's work with what we got then, right? I really like appreciate all the work you put in, and, and not ex not expecting miracles. Certainly. Running. Good to go. Like, I I don't think it's that big of a deal for it to chain multiple times on the enemy's turn, right? Especially if you position yourself in the middle of a group, right? Like like. So that way you can't use it either on just the reveal as well. You can't just run in and and have it trigger constantly like Bladestorm does, right? Uh, because Bladestorm only triggers on our turn. If at, at that point, like they're grouped up and you put your guy close to it and they get multiple actions and, and you shock them multiple times, I really don't see a problem with that, especially at a higher rank ability. It's, it's when it's going like both ways multiple times and just chaining and bringing things down. Um, it's, it's the new feedback, right? From the resistance order where you're just like constantly doing AOE damage to uh to priest and things like that, but now on a grander scale. And I don't mind it like on their turn, but on my turn, it seems seems out of place. Got 
got it covered. Okay, so really try not to trigger this turn anything. I think I do hear something over here. Move, move, move. Affirmative. Copy that. Definitely don't want you overwatching. And I, I don't know how far I can move right now. Like there could just be like a drone right here, and if we peek around this corner. Moving to Overwatch. It pops us, right? I think I heard something. In position. I mean, the next mission's a UFO. And we, uh, ooh, heavy mechs. Ooh, heavy mechs are coming out. Uh, UFOs are kind of notorious for just clumping up, right? They've got a position. Unless they leave us no choice, we should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home. Did we kill one of our crates? Did we kill a crate somehow right there? Dude, I think a mech stomped on the crate. I don't think I killed a crate, did I? Wait, this crate's gone. Wait, did we shoot out the the <laughs> the thing it was sitting on? I think so. Okay. Okay, game. Can I actually kill a heavy mech? No need to ask twice. We might not be staying here long. I don't want to trigger those guys this turn, and I, I think I need, like, the heavy damage from rain to even, like, potentially deal with the heavy mech. I think we're trying to get four crates and get out. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Poplite can take the hit. And give me information. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Okay, so we could try to go for a crit for plus six damage, which is gonna give us 1622 potentially. Yeah, I think I just have to go for it. Wow. You graze that. You grazed that. Oh my god. Holy shit, boys. We are in trouble. On your order. Oh, we're in so much trouble right now. Might burn a little. Ooh. Absolutely. 
It's just the squad's not meant for this, right? This is kind of like a last minute thing we were adding out. The suppression disable micro missiles. I mean, is that really where the threat's coming from? Blasting that target. I mean, it gives us probably the most benefit we can ask for. I could teamwork you to there. We can even try to go for a shutdown and maybe I'm not should have used the suppression yet. Yeah. The enemy should fear us. Oh, that's gonna trigger something. We just got information there. Great. If you say so. So let's get some information. You don't have Trojan or anything. I don't know if I can go for a shutdown protocol there. A protocol Sandman. Put you over there. Good luck. Kruka, have a great day. Thank you so much for popping by. I will get your updates. Uh, downloaded, probably said ability to slot reassignment configs for Angel family is still coming from a bit equipped. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I, oh wait, we can, we can move here. You know what? I don't want to move. Um, I just assumed I had to have the gremlin so we didn't get rid of it or anything. If I can kill this heavy mech, I think we're fine. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're going to have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Just really hoping this heavy mech doesn't do anything crazy to me right now. I'm hit! I'm hit! Raised for three, nice. I mean, that's pretty good. That's it's hard to say no to that, right? Except unless you're gonna do this. Oh, okay. Whoa! Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Okay, we need to get four crates. I can blast another one of these. I really hope there's no more mechs. This will get rid of uh, armor. Here. Wait, there's, where was that 24 last time, right? My goodness. That would have been fantastic to have. Uh, with the loss coming, I don't really want to spend too long here either, right? The Berserker Omega? You mean the Berserker Queen? Or is the Berserker Omega a a class? Uh, if that's an enemy, I have not seen it yet, so I don't have an answer to that. The Berserker Queen, though, Mame. Mame is your best friend. Mame will keep her in place for three actions, and then you can keep doing other things that can reduce her uh, mobility. The modern, slightly overtuned enemy. Okay, I haven't seen it yet, so I uh, I don't have good input for it yet. Ready to rock. Well, not all the. Uh, Oh, not all the mutons have a uh, melee attack. I'm assuming the other ones might not as well, but yeah. Combatants will just lock it down. Good to know. And there we go. There's a good answer. They're moving as quickly as they can to get those crates. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as fast. Okay, so that's three. There is four right there if we want to go up that way and grab it, which we might want to do. I'm on it. So I probably just want to grab that one for four. Man. I really want to put you up close to these guys so they come running at you and you get your overwatch shots. I might even just want to go there. Getting it done. 
You have combatives. What's over there? Certainly a way to handle them there. You could get out within one turn at any point there. I don't really want to go for the grappler. We don't have any guard up. You should kill the dasher in theory. Well, it was a close. It was a close encounter. What's over there? Didn't really pay off for us there. I mean, I kind of just want Terexius. Do we not? Wait. Oh, no, he got hit. I'm like, did we not give him ablative? No, no, he got hit. Having ways to reduce mobility and use effective attacks is better. It's, yeah. We didn't get an overwatch on that guy. I guess he was too close. How much damage did we just take? Dang. Yeah, Tarx is just getting beat up. Ooh, Bio Trooper Stun Lancer Sniper. Okay. Not too shabby. We can deal with this. Actually, we can deal with that real efficiently here. We have a way to get over here. Looks like we have a way right there. Oh, I saw it. Did you guys see it? Fired up. Sniper must have missed. That's what we're going to assume there. Both are burning. I need you to heal, but I probably heal with Valora so I can reposition you. Big deal. I mean, the sniper should, in theory, go for spanked. We just need to grab one more crate for full experience. We might be able to grab more though. Go. If this is the second pod, we might be able to grab more. Holding. Since we've already killed all the lost. You still can't reach the sniper there. You could go here and kill the stun lancer. Hopefully this doesn't trigger anything else right now. 
that we can suppress him. Or we can just overwatch. I mean, it's kind of the same thing at this point. I'm going to need to kill him, actually. Uh, I think we can kill the bio trooper from here, so I do think this is just a movement here for the sniper. Burning the sniper for the control. Okay, burning panic. I mean, I have no idea where this last pod is. I, I have a feeling they're back here, so I think if I just want to get greedy, I get greedy right now, right? That lets me pull six crates out, which is much more than I was asking. I don't know if I'm going for that one, but maybe. I still have time. If we are going to take another engagement, we're in a pretty good spot, only with one big line of sight blocker. I mean, you can move out immediately as well. Hey, that's actually pretty easy to deal with. I, got Find some cover. My position. I mean, I can get two more. Oh, it got a yellow alert. Ontrax is great. Uh, I can uh, I can grab two more crates here. Get us to eight. Be pretty happy with that. I mean, I'm happy with eight on like normally these missions, anyways. Sharpshooter doesn't have vision there. This guy dies is why my thought is like... Heading out. Grab this crate. Back up. I want to grab that crate. I could. There's no cover here is our only issue. I'm going to risk it. I mean, this is seven. We know there's potentially two more. Maybe a flesh wound. Didn't get the kill. Not good. Yeah, I'm only gonna go for seven then. I'm not gonna go for that crate. Okay, I'll go. Three to six. Let's just go for the shutdown. Try not to break this one. We'll probably just leave next turn. I don't know if we can exactly leave next turn, but I'm going to get Running. everyone in position in case we can. Maintain position. Okay, so Sandman cannot get out this turn. You get one shot, which is probably one of these lost. We have Dasher, Dashers. We don't have Grapplers. On my way. I 
We just overwatch you. I'm on it. It hit the plate. Kind of close. You put you there. All right, I'll go. If you say so. And we're out next turn. Who's like the biggest threat out of all these? I guess the one with six HP is the one we shoot. So the reason I would put Kenji there is because he does have combatives, right? I don't think he has like Bladestorm or anything. So if they want to go melee him, they can. I'm going to take a shot on the drone to hopefully not get stunned anywhere for some reason. No such luck. Shot wide. Uh, we'll go guard and take a pistol shot. Kill. Someday we'll get more value out of this guy. Oh, look, he killed one. Yay. That's how it's done. Nice. I mean, I like this rifle. It's fun. Our guy using it could use some work with it, though. <laughs> At least there's no grapplers in here. Oh, there is a grappler. Oh, well, we can kill it from uh, evac. Looks like they called in backup. All right, you're not staying next to a grappler. That's good. You are not doing anything either. You're not doing anything either, sadly. You're moving there, and you can see the grappler. Look at that. Look at Spanked go. What a Chad. An absolute legend. Okay. I mean, not as many crates as I would like, but I'll take it. Not happy with the damage you took, but we'll take that as well. A heavy mech with wool is scary. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. Lost maps are ten. Lost maps tend to be fun, and, and that was fun at least. I'm actually like very surprised though with how good my internet's looking today. Like, thank you, Spectrum. Maybe you finally fixed the issue we'll find out later i'm sure though right suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda Aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. 24 days, no promotions, 56 supplies, alloys, illyrium. Quite a few things, though, that we can sell if needed. We should check with Resistance okay. HQ for new recruits. What about Psy? Psionic abilities. Oh, yeah, we do have Valora here, who was on that squad. She is bonded with Kenji or Shinobi. I could... Yeah, I could spend a little bit of time getting her some abilities. We'll even put a scientist in there. I'm okay with that. Battle armor in four days. Okay, so we have a lot of fun stuff coming up here. Uh, but this is going to have to wait until after lunch. I am going to go eat. It's going to be a 10-minute lunch type thing. Uh, so we'll do what we did yesterday. Let's find a, find a video to put on while...